Alrighty, hello, hello. Hope everybody is doing well today and hope you're ready to jump back into our Kobold Zan campaign. We have some more conquering to do. I know. Just think about it though. Think about it. If we take more land, then there's less people that can join the coalition. Big brain plays. No coalitions, no problems. Uh, we do need to focus on taking out Laurent though, because Laurent is like the last major hurdle we have until we see the rest of the Empire of Aminar, so we need to really focus down on fighting them. We just pieced out with them, but we're going to prepare to go on the offensive now. Um, we need to build a couple of forts to fix our fort lineup, but after that, we are good to like push into people and take them out. So we'll uh, we'll definitely take advantage of that. Uh, hello, hello to Brian, Mamilo, Bagel, uh, Nurkor, Nin Ninjbeth? Ninjbeth, I'm saying that right. Um, uh, yeah, hello, hello, hello. And Ryan, hello, can't forget you. I know there's something called subsidies. Look, I know, I know, I was, I was so, like, oh, recording the Boostler episode yesterday, I was like, there's something. I'm missing something to increase my opinion with this guy by, like, five. There has to be something. And I just could not remember it. For the life of me, I could not remember the subsidies. And then someone commented on the video today, and I was like, yes, that's it. That's the thing I'm looking for. So we'll be able to vassalize someone in the, the YouTube campaign, which is good. Oh. I don't have too many hours in this game and should know all the mechanics inside and out. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Uh, hello, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Is it the Chris or Kurz or Chris? Chris? K R Z Y. Chris or Kurz? Like K R Y. Words are hard. Words are hard. Let's go to the game. I could game better than I can word. That is for sure. Chris is fine. All right, Chris, I can do that. I can do that. All right, let's get that music off and get this music on. So, 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 so. Yesterday, we ended off with a war with the rent. We got them to peace out. We took all their money. First things first, pay off our loans. All right, second thing is second. We have a mission. Let's read it. All right. Uh, we did choose the dragon path, which is a more conquest focused path. So let's see what that has in store for us. All right, solidify our dragon worship. If our faith is to emerge triumphant, we must ensure that it is codified. We will centralize the various sects and cults into one unified faith and in the process, root out any heretics that may be hiding amongst the ranks of the faithful. We gain a claim on the West Mount, Moor Hills, Burn and Moor, uh, South Allen, and Small Country region. 50 years, we get plus one tolerance to the true faith. Uh, kind of weird doesn't give us permanent claims, but is what it is, I guess. Uh, and the first is screen it only time it's been 350 hours. Look, it's like, it's like you have less time. So you, you have better memory of these things. Yeah. I'm, th I'm just so big brained and there's so much knowledge, obviously that I'm just like thinking about so many different things. Definitely not just forgetting. Definitely not just forgetting. Uh, hey, Blackhawk, can become some goaded kobolds or mission tree? You know, you conquer stuff, but it's kind of hard to claim Dragon's Legacy when you're little dudes. We do get some buffs. Yeah, we do get some buffs through a mission tree, for sure. Uh, but we're mostly just going to have to rely on being small dudes and uh, trying to make the best of it. All right, show our might. We are a great power. We are the number two great power. We have the second most development in the world, I'm pretty sure, only behind the command, which is rather impressive, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, but let's go ahead and complete this one. The nations of Halan have for millennia looked down upon us, seeing us as little more than a nuisance to be dealt with, a past. Even when we defeated the gnomes' precious hierarchy, they degraded us. We will show them that we are not to be underestimated. All right, we gain 20 prestige, and for 50 years, we get a little giant, plus 10% morale of armies and 15% land force limit. We also have strength in the face of our enemies, and there is a coalition against us. Now, I'm hoping... Now the coalition goes away when we unpause here because we're no longer at War of the Rent, but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the kings and dukes of the east have banded together to destroy our new empire. We shall show that we are not intimidated. We shall not fall. We shall not surrender. By the Dragon Father, we shall achieve this victory. Plus 10% national manpower and 10% land force limit for 25 years. <sighs> Poe, hear me out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think we should expand? Is that what you're going to say? Because I agree. If that's what you're saying, I'm already in. I'm already in. Uh, we're going to do with these rebels up here first to make sure they don't grab this uh, fort. And then we'll come back down and we'll deal with the peasants. All right, we could take general staff ideas, another one, but we kind of need to catch up on tech here. We are going to start falling behind. We don't want to far fall too far behind on Miltech because Miltech 11 is a big deal. So, And then 12 is an even bigger deal, so we don't want to fall behind on that. 
Uh, once we get rid of rebels, we can see some land. Uh, what else can we do? We have a lot of things that are partially stated, not fully stated. Um, I have a fort here. I'm going to build a fort in Two Fork when this is done coring up. So that's going to be like our, our front fort line right there. Um, yeah, that's, that's the plan. That, that's all I got for you. We're, we're just going to keep expanding. That's the goal. Taking all of Kanor for the kobolds. Uh, we are getting rid of the gnomes currently, and we're almost to the point where we can stop that. We have two more provinces of gnomes, and then we will switch over to... We might just want to go straight for humans. Yeah, I mean, we need to take out the rest of... Actually, no, hold on. I think we've already gotten rid of the rest of Nymph's God. Yeah, we just have two gnomish provinces left. And then... Yeah, probably the humans next. Time for full cores. Well, the problem is, like, that's going to fill up our governing capacity rather quickly. Here, we can unpause here while we're talking about this. Um, that's going to fill up our governing capacity rather quickly. Yep, there goes the coalition. Beautiful. But money's true. But you know how else I can get money's? Fighting people and killing them. That is another way for me to get monies. That's kind of important. <clears throat> kind of important. I will actually full state this because it is our culture and religion. Well, most of it is. So that is nice. Uh, this is stated. Could be stated. Did Exus annex Westum? Uh, no, but they did annex Rubyhold and they've annexed most of BPEC. Both of which is because of us. So they have us to thank for those expansions. Uh, and as I said, Laurent in When's Our Truce Up with them? Uh, 1527. 1527. We're going to war with Laurent and we're taking land. We're taking lots of land. Coalition be damned. Uh, we kind of have to. We kind of have to. Must keep expanding. Can never stop expanding. If we stop expanding, we'll die. So we have to keep going. Have to keep going. Is there like no music? Hello? Music? What are you playing? Remnant Awakening? Hello? Music time? There we go. Music time. <laughs> I was like, it's just kind of quiet. I'm just kind of sitting here. No sound. You've born Alexander's Empire? True. True. Uh, we do have our Queen Regent in charge right now, by the way. Uh, a 653 helped us catch up on admin tech here. And I don't think our heir is a mage. I, I would have sworn they were, but I'm looking through the modifiers here. It's not showing up. For whatever reason. Um, I hope they are a mage, though. Uh, war games are successful. So we could spend a bunch of money and get an additional 25 professionalism. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Because remember, we have a modifier right now where we're losing professionalism, actually. Uh, where are you? Yeah, arrogance and general staff ignored. So this could offset that. Because um, for 10 years, we get 0.5 year of the army tradition. In 2.5% year of the army professionalism. General staff is just too good. That's a general staff pulse event. It's just too good. It's, it's just simply too good. <laughs> what gives it event? Yeah, general staff. <laughs> what else? What else is going to give something that busted? Nothing. General staff is a must take. It really, really is. It really, really is. All right. Uh, we're going to go to work with Gwed here. So let's make sure that we keep some troops up here to do that once I revoke some land. There we go. Monsters are loyal, so we'll do that. Oh, am I going to sneeze? No? Yes? No? You know. Yeah? Dude, sneezing is the worst. Sneezing should be illegal. Because I never know if I'm actually going to sneeze or not. And that's bad. <clears throat> you also heard the 626 there was a mage? Okay, then pro it probably is then. It probably is. Gold in the hole? Never. Never. We're not done with gold in the hole. Not until the rent's dead, at least. We need that gold. Uh, I don't think there's any good buildings we could build. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. Don't need those. I'd rather have the money just to continue my conquests. To be perfectly honest with you. Now, we have a land force of oh, 107. We have 37,000 troops. So... <sighs> We could use a little bit more money, more income. 
Is it worth picking up admin ideas or later to reduce coin cost? Uh, yes, that is going to be our next idea group most likely, is taking admin to get the 15% corporation cost and the governing capacity. Though there is the other option, I believe, of, is it decentralization? Well, that doesn't give us corporation cost. So yeah, we're probably taking admin next. <laughs> Not a true cobalt, a true cobalt dump all money in whole. E no, we are just smart kobolds. We're smarter than your average kobold. Okay, so fighting these guys does mean that I will have to fight Arboran. I'm not exactly thrilled with that idea. But... I want to own this. I want to annex Gawed. I don't want Gawed to exist anymore. So, we're going to. Vertesk won't even join, which is fine, I guess. Honestly, I would have preferred if they joined so I could annex them, but oh well. And now we're back. We're back to our regular uh, Cobalt expansion. I think I was gonna take like a, a break and like try and recover my economy, but that's for that's for gnomes, bro. Gnomes sit there and recover their economy. Cobalts go take money from people, like true chads. Uh, when I play Cobalt, I dump tens of thousands in a hole and deeply regret it. Hoped it would do something. Oh, it does do something. Oh, it does. It does do something, and it, it is actually worth the money. Uh, it's just not worth the money right now. And it's a mean time to half an event. And you have to don't dump in at least 30,000 monies, I think it is, to get what you need. So it takes quite the hefty investment to make your kobold hoard uh, worth it. Quite the investment. Uh, hey, Kingsler. Kobolds go burr. They do. Kobolds, in fact, no, they don't. I think they go, like, roar, like, roar. Do kobolds roar like dragons? Important question. Do they roar like dragons or do they growl like a dog? I feel like they I feel like they've gotta roar like dragons, right? Regency ending? True, thank you. They growl like dragon. Oh, so it's less of a less of like a raw, more like a roar, you know? <laughs> was that good? Do I, am I good at speaking kobold? You guys like my draconic? I thought it was pretty good. I think they would understand me. Also, we're regaining 1,703 manpower a month. Which is kind of crazy. They hiss. Ooh, they hiss like a snake? That probably makes more sense. Probably makes more sense. More re than raw. Imagine a crocodile. I like to not imagine crocodiles. Thank you very much. Crocodiles are terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Same thing with alligators, which is why I, I don't ever want to go to the... Well, one of the reasons why I never want to go to, like, the southern United States. That place sucks. They got, croc they got alligators down there. Ooh, I don't want. I don't want that heat. I want that smoke. Alligators stay there. I stay where I'm at. No problem. Trying to apply logic to a fantasy world? That's the best kind. I watched, um, I watched Dune last night, the movie, for the first time. And I haven't read the books or done anything. Like, like, interacted with that kind of content at all. Um, I think that's good, because I think I would enjoy it too much. They like the weird, weird, uh, space religion thing. I was like, yeah, cool. Space religion. Really super weird. Doesn't make any sense. Love it. Great content. Uh, alligators are not that scary, bro. I live in Florida. See? See what I mean? See what I mean? People in the South, they don't think that alligators are scary. That's an insane take. That That's a crazy take. They're, they're dinosaurs. I know birds are dinosaurs, too. But, like, they're like scary dinosaurs. Like, ah, you know, they bite you. And then they roll, and then you're dead. Simple as. I live in Florida. My dog almost got eaten by one. I was walking around. I ran so fast. Yeah, see? See? That's a normal person take. That's normal. Osami, you're crazy. You're crazy. I'm just saying. All right. Uh, the Cobalt Artificer Settlement of Zurzumexia. The Dragon Coast has long been a land of strife and hostility. The wars of Gnome, Human, and Cobalt may have made the Kobolds of the coast as durable as the Dragon Heights and even introduced them to the art of artificery. Survival is the top priority. Moved by a desire to experiment, tinker, and learn unchained from the hardships and limitations of their homeland, a brilliant Kobold known as Zurzumex, uh, the, pi the pioneer of Kobold biomechanical artificery, has decided to forge his own path. Joined by a number of his apprentices and like-minded kobolds, Zerzamex assembled an expedition and set sail for Alentir in search of a land with less need for war and more time for tinkering. Arriving in Harath after many months of ocean storms and close calls with hostile ships, Zerzamex found a sparsely populated land with a pleasant climate where kobolds could prosper and build to their heart's content. There, his expedition established their first settlement, a city that they would build up to match the dreams of artifice and freedom, Zerzumexia. So if you want to go play as the kobolds of the new world, then you act like play as new country. But we do not, so we will not. Do they have a mission tree? I don't remember. We're way up here. I am too far down on the map. 
<clears throat> so I guess they just vibe when they're there. Well, yeah, like at a distance, so I guess they're fine. You can say thing, same thing about snakes. I hate snakes. Snakes are the worst, bro. I am, mm-mm, mm-mm, snakes bad. But like from a distance, they're fine. They stay over there. I stay over here. And we're chill. We're chill. But snake get close to me, I'm gonna throw a rock at it. I'm just saying. The space human instinct, I'm gonna throw a rock. I'm gonna throw a rock. Whoa, Root, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate that, very kind of you. Wow, getting the stream off to a exciting start, thank you. Congrats to Bestimiator, TDS Frog, Intro Night, Pav, and the Razor. Hope you say thank you if you are here. Very, very cool. Snakes to be aggressive? Oh, I know. I know. I, I live in the Western United States. The Western Diamondback is, is the venomous snake of the area. It's bad. It will kill. It won't, like, hunt you down or anything like that. But if you roll up on it, uh, it's not going to go well for you. It's going to kill you. It will bite you, and it will kill you. Not a fan. Not a fan. Snake's scary. Snake's scary. Really appreciate content lately. I've learned a lot from the stream fan bar. Well, I'm glad that you have learned something. Glad I could be helpful. All wild animals, all wild animals I stay away from. I don't care how cute they are. Even big dogs. Like oh, yeah. No, no, no. You don't, you don't mess with the wild animals. That's, that never ends well. Literally never ends well. L wild animals are wild animals. You leave them alone. They stay over there. Though, <laughs> uh, except the deer where I live. Dude, deer are... I can't explain to you deer, okay? I, I know deer ever. Deer is like the one animal that's literally all across the world. It may even look a little different, but like, everybody got deer. Everybody's got deer, everywhere. But like, they're just so, so chill, and yet, they could absolutely obliterate you in like two seconds. Like, if there was a really dedicated deer, you'd have no chance. It would 1v1 you, like, immediately. It would just, pow, gone. But like, I'll walk outside my door and there'll be a family of deer on the grass and they'll look at me and then they'll just go back to eat. And I'm like, I'm like, a, I'm like a predator, bro. What are you doing? You're supposed to like run, you go, shoo, be gone. But no, they just chill. They just chill. I've almost pet a deer one time. One time I have almost pet a deer. I also threw a pocket knife at a deer when I was young, but that's a story for a different time. Uh, <clears throat> hippos look... Like, they just vibe, but they kill more people than other creatures on Earth. Well, they're very dangerous because they bite you. They bite you. This is 77 war score? Oh, that is a lot of development. No, I think from our brand, we're just going to take uh, money and war reps. What do you mean, no? Oh, he's a fierce negotiator. That's the worst. The New Japan, you're not going to vote? Yeah. Well, um, Dear me, don't either. Which is weird. Well, no, it's not totally weird. I guess the safest place for them is inside towns and stuff. Because they're not going to be, like, hunted or whatever. But still. Still. And they got the beady eyes. They look at you. Beady eyes. You never know what they're thinking. Uh, how many troops here? Okay. We're going to let those rebels see each other town. It's fine. <laughs> Persecute gnomes. Got some rest. Okay. It's fine. Half elves leave. Okay. <laughs> moose or killer suit? Yeah, no. Moose are scary. But I like moose. Moose? Mises? M mooses? Mies? Mies? Mouse? Moose? The animal with the big horns. Uh, this is the gnome. They go and they hang out next to the kobolds in the new world too, but they're gnomes, so we don't care. Tried venison once in Texas. It was the worst. You felt bad? I've had a lot of, like, venison jerky. Um, I had bear jerky too. Bear jerky is pretty good. That stuff's pretty goaded. Have you ever had alligator? Like like deep fried alligator? Oh, that's good. Now that stuff, that stuff slaps. It is good. Very, very good. At least the way I had it. It's been quite a while though, since I had it. Uh, what are the odds that he's standing right here? Florida Poe? Nah, I don't, I don't live in Florida. I've never been to Florida. Thank God. I've never been there. I just dug like alligator. <clears throat> have I ever had a bison? I think I've had a bison burger before. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I think I have. I think I have. I'm pretty sure I have. Pretty sure. 
Plural of moose, moose is meese. I, I don't know. I think that's a lie, but I like that. Meese. The meeses are out there hunting the humans down, taking out the people in their territory. Yeah, that's fine. Yay! No more Gwed! Woo! Best timeline! No more Gwed! No more Gwed! No more Gwed! Alright, core that up. And we can complete Punish the Humans. The humans of the West have long attacked us, calling us heretics, monsters, and worse. We must rally our forces and finally bring them to war that they have long asked for. Humanity must pay, and the kobolds are here to collect. Claim the Gwed area, which I already own. Devastate Gwed. Uh, we own it, and it costs us 250 military power. Gawetan stands tall, a mockery of all things good and draconic in the world. Its spires and temples all dedicated to their false gods. We must burn Gawetan in holy dragon fire so none dare question the righteousness of our cause. 10 prestige. Permanent claim on the Hellenic frontier. 50 devastation in Gawetan. Does it even change like the culture or anything? Okay. I guess. Pole of goose is geese, thus moose is meese. Oh, you see, but that assumption would assume that English works, so... I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. If I want to re-up those core save on admin, true. True. How much is it going to save us? So we have 350 right now. Uh, now we have 390. That's 40 admin points. That's, that's a good amount. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish nationalism here. Minus 4% shock damage received and minus 15% cost of advisors with ruler's culture. Which means we need to actually pay attention to this. Kobold's any kobold. So we're going to want non-gnome uh, non advisors. We're going to keep this guy for now because he's half price. But otherwise, we got to we gotta get our kobolds in charge. Probably back on his idea set. It is an idea set, okay? It's an idea set in the Vibio game. In the Vibio game. All right, so who's the next target? And actually, do we go for next target? Or do we chill, take tech, and start going? You know what? We should probably chill, take tech, and grab the core creation cost. It is wasted time, though, is the problem. It is wasted time, though. Time for us to rebuild. I mean, there's not much to rebuild, is the thing. Like, a lot of our economy is still centered in uh, in this area. And developing it might help, but uh, other than that. When my 25% I'm attacked, my 60% Diplo. If it's not one, it's the other. Well, something's got to sacrifice. Something's got to be sacrificed. We can't have the best of both worlds. Push the funny button, it's time. Is it? We still have one more gnome. One more gnome, then we push the funny button, all right? One more gnome, then funny button. Uh, rebels, we're looking at, yeah, quite a bit. Is there anywhere I can get a little bit of drilling done around here? Uh, not with a full stack, but with a half stack, yeah. The half stack, we sure can. Let's get a little bit of drilling. Just a little bit. If you're going to sit in place for a while, you might as well start the next process. Fine, fine, fine. We'll push the funny button and we'll start getting rid of humans. It does lower our admin efficiency, which I have to admit I'm not thrilled with. But we'll start getting rid of the humans, all right? Kobolds only. No one likes you anyways, plus you have 200 aggressive expansion. True, true. 5% is whatever. Well, but you say that, but I, mean, I still feel like it's a lot. We're gonna take the mill power there. All right, like five percent is still five percent. <laughs> All right, the first humans to go, the humans of Great Marches, and we have a coalition actually forming. Is the monument in Gwetan really good? Uh, does give promise war score cost, but it has to be a Linux or Reachman, so not for us. There's no way this coalition actually like fires though, right? No way. Well, let's just make sure it doesn't happen. Yeah, uh, that's one way to follow, solve the problem. <laughs> you want to join a coalition? Okay, I'll just kill you. Next question. Next time, you won't join a coalition against me. 
Simple as. I know I said we were going to chill, but uh, they attacked me when you think about it. They were going to attack me, so it's it's just a defensive war. Another coalition is forming, though. Uh, not much I can do about that. All right, send that cannon down there. You can get started on this siege, even though you don't have cannons. Just get some progress going. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do you know that Aminar, you get more negative relations for changing culture compared to purging? Yeah, I feel like it's... Uh, like, expelling is... Wait. Oh, you're saying for changing... What do you mean? Like, like culture converting? I mean, it's still, it still goes to my point where it feels that there's not enough punishments for he hooing and it's he hooing is better in every capacity than expelling, which is weird. Why did the map not open up? I'm assuming it's going to open up later. I was probably just incorrect about the date. Well, I mean, obviously, I was incorrect about the date. Um, but, but, it will open up. It will open up. I think you could build more cannons. We could build more cannons. Very expensive. But, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll build three more cannons up. How about that? How much do each of our units cost? 0.13. Okay. We're going to build 10 more units as well. Because we are at our max, close to our max manpower. So. Now is the best time to do that. Which was an option to skip events. Yeah, same. It is a bit much. <laughs> but that probably means that we're clicking the button too much. That's probably what that means. <laughs> All right, we have another government reform here. We are clearly going to go for the governing capacity. Uh, stab cost and corporation cost is fine, but we need governing capacity. So that's what we're going to go for. If we want to take all of Kanor, it's kind of a necessity. Uh, has this been cored yet? Not yet. Okay. Now else should be like minus six diff left and coalition for healing. Makes sense. Well, also just like province modifiers. Like if you expel, you get minus 33% to like production efficiency, tax, manpower for like 50 years. 50 years. But if you he who, you might lose a couple points of development, but that's it. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like if you're, if you, I feel like if you're doing the, the bad, bad, that you should lose more things than you do from doing the, the bad, the regular bad. Eh? I don't know. Wouldn't full calorie, full calorie, biggest provinces give you more money? Yes. <laughs> yes, it would. But uh, I need my admin points for other things, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I do not have the admin points to spare for such a thing. Should I say the reform progress? You're going to change the government soon? That's true. Ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, let's send, like... 5,000, 6,000 guys down here. Then we'll go deal with uh, some of these rebels. Hopefully they don't cross. What's your mill tech? They're at 9. Okay. It's fine. Apparently there is a tech that I can take. It has admin tech. Yeah, see, colonialism, we're going to have to go steal from the rent. That's why I want to go take their land, too. Uh, Got to go back to work. See you later. All right, Kingslar. Have a good time at work. That sounds sarcastic. I do hope you have a good time at work, and that's not bad. <laughs> All right, let's take that tech. Even though we're not going to have enough admin to take any of our ideas, we are going to lock in on uh, administrative because we need the corporation cost. Not an option. Not an option. Have to have, have to have. Very, very important. <laughs> All right. Send you over to there. Walk around here. They are stacking troops up. They're at 42% here. Let's go steal that siege. On the Siege of Everwar. There we go. And once these guys step on, then we can take these guys off. Go back to blocking that. You guys make your way over towards these rebels. Uh, yeah, we're losing Inno right now. That's fine. Not a big deal. So Maldor sent to do a coalition. I would attack them, but they're guaranteed by Bjarnrik, so that feels a bit risky and unnecessary to do there's no reason to to get beyond rick to see me or for me to see them to where they can join coalitions no reason to do that 
We can simply just be patient instead. Which is a better one. Be back. So another coalition is forming up. I don't think they... I mean, I know why they're forming. It's because I haven't built to my force limit, but like... It'd be annoying to have to do that. Be very, very annoying to have to do that. Uh, looks like they're gonna come up and fight us. Let's go step on these woods. Oh, they're gonna go here. That's okay. I don't really want to engage them. We'll let them walk into us. Should be a cool person, only accept halflings. They did nothing wrong. Yeah, but like the whole point was that we were gonna turn Kenor to Kobold, right? Plus, then they'll try and break away and have freedom, and I don't want that. I don't need no small country existing. No, thank you. That is my land, not theirs. Mine. Hopefully. That's the plan, at least. Uh, we can choose a new age ability. Uh, de develop colonies, I guess. Small races should cooperate. But that's what you do all the time when you play the small races. The small races always cooperate. I thought we were being the bad guys. You guys are going soft. You're going soft on me, thinking that we should accept the halflings and be kind to the halflings. No. No, 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 no. We're getting everybody out of here. Strange coalition talk. Countries that don't, you don't know about Canada coalition. Seems like if they can't see them, they can't attack. They can't see me. Wait. Strange coalition talk. Countries that don't know about can't enter coalition. True. Seems something like if I can't see them, they can't see me. Not true. Technically, the AI can see you all the time. Technically. Technically. But if they also can't see it, like... Like, we can't see uh, Buslar, but Buslar can see us. So Buslar can't join the coalition, even though they can see me. They don't get aggressive expansion because I don't see them. But the AI itself, like the actual computer, can, can see everything. <laughs> see everything we're doing. So, a little tricky. A little tricky. All right, we're at 99% here. Go ahead and annex you guys. Bavik, you're up first. 100% war score, huh? Okay. Then I will just take this and leave you with your island. 229 admin points. Damn. It's quite a bit. Quite a bit. There. Next time, you won't join a coalition against me. Uh, Bavik is, like, super high. Did I fully state this? I did not. We're gonna go ahead and unstate this, because it's not a full state. Uh, which means it's gonna be much cheaper now for me to core this up. Yeah, now it's, it's half the cost. So we are, like, half stating things, but before we core things up, we need to make sure they're not in a full state. Because it's not necessary for us to pay that much admin for no reason. You get a gulag, and you get a gulag. Everybody gets a gulag. Oh, there are the gnomes. No more gnomes. We're free from the gnomes. Gnomes are gone. That means I can go cancel. Nah. Gnomes. Zero, 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 zero. What do you mean I have to have 100? Oh, right. You still have to have it. It just doesn't actually cost anything. Uh, gnomes. Remove. Look, we're the good guys. We're no, we're no longer getting rid of gnomes. That's joining because I don't know the hee hoo button. No, that doesn't force them to join. Like mechanically, maybe like story wise, yeah, that makes sense. But mechanically wise, that doesn't make them more likely to join or not. Uh, all right. Well, Anbin land here. It's guaranteed by Gromvar. I'm not scared of Gromvar. I am scared of the rest of their allies though. But Gromvar himself is uh, pretty weak for the most part. I shouldn't have clicked on them. I thought I already saw their capital because we saw Belvroran, but they moved it already. We could go after them, but I feel like there's more important things to do. Time of Humies. Oh, we're already getting rid of the Humies. Already getting rid of the Humies. Oh, no. I did not think that they were in the Empire. I 
I don't know why would you all believe me if I told you that there was a bird outside your window right now? If you if you look outside your window right now, there's a bird. There's a bird. It's a really cool bird. Look, no, you gotta look real close. You gotta look real close at it because it's like it's like right there. Is it a duck? Yeah, it's a bird. It's a bird. It's a bird. Yeah. Oh, it flew away. You guys missed it. You guys missed it. It's all right. You'll 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 see it again. You're looking. Yeah, it already flew away. Next time, I'll point it out when it comes by. Next time, okay? Point it by when it comes out next time. Average Poey gameplay, dude. <laughs> Average Poey brain moment. God. Let's not uh, let's not throw the run that much, yeah? I don't want to go play dwarves yet. It's a penguin. Penguins can't fly. Oh, well. Cool penguins can. I know the penguins that can fly. They're super sneaky, though. You're in a basement? Well, that would complicate the bird seeing you, but I'm sure it's fine. It was there. It was there. Trust, 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 trust. It was there. Oh, wait, are you no longer guaranteed by Bjarnrik? Ooh. <laughs> How long until my truce with Loretta's up? Three years. <sighs> no, we'll wait. This goes and have a mission tree. It does. It does. We're going through it. It's a lot of conquest, conquest focused stuff for this branch of it. All right, we need to build a fort here. Is very important. North Viswal, Bavikman. Okay. You're going to walk up here and deal with these rebels. You're going to stay down here and deal with these rebels. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You have no windows in your room? Are you sure you're not in a prison cell? Are you absolutely sure? Because it kind of sounds like you're in a prison cell. No windows in your room. Whack. Whack. Arboran, X with your arrivals. <clears throat> no one wants to work. That's fine. Kobolds don't need to work. We're too cool for that. You can go stay in here. Start to core that up. And deal with any rebels that decide to pop on up. Uh, we could also, very briefly here... Go ahead and uh, go to this. Actually, we can't. When we get 100 admin, we'll get rid of the elves, too. <laughs> Try and switch this over to kobold. Uh, hey, the old Pete. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Doing well. Do we want to extend this regency again? <laughs> Probably. She just has too many ammo points to give up. Uh, inflation. I bought that down. Right. Decided that was more important than the tech, which I think was correct. Air is a mage. Air is a mage. That's true. But admin points. Admin points are kind of more important at the moment. Which kind of sucks. But uh, she'll probably die soon. Like, she's 64 years old. So, anytime. Also, if you abdicate a queen regent, do you lose stability? Because you don't normally. You do? Well, that's dumb. Why? Like, the kids already going to take over anyways. Not, like, unexpected or anything. Whack. Whack, whack, whack. That's me hitting you with the big stick. Whack. What does Selmaldor and Bavik Monument do? Uh, Selmaldor needs to be a Linux, Reachman, or Moon Elf. So it doesn't matter, but it gives lightship combat ability. Merchants. Bavik is Blue Reachman. And uh, gives... It's the same same things you have to have. Galley combat ability, blocking impact on Siege, and National Sailors. Now what we're going to do... What we're going to do... Is look at the good old subcontinent subcontinent map mode. We are in Western Canor. Garudia is in Garudia, which means we could trade company a lot of this stuff, and we're going to. We're going to. We're going to trade company this entire state here because it's good to do the entire state. And that 
is one, not as bad for our governing capacity, but two, will also bring in lots of trade value, hopefully. And maybe, if we're lucky, will give us an extra merchant, which would be very nice. <laughs> be very nice to get that. You missed a throwing me moment? No. There were no throwing me moments. No throwing me moments. You are crazy for thinking that there would ever be one. There we go. And see, for all the haters out there, we have three Cobol divisors. I was, uh, I was getting some messages that the gnomes were carrying us in our run. Because I had gnome advisors. And I have to disagree with that. So there you go. Now we have all kobolds. So you can't even deny it now. Can't even deny it. Alright. How expensive are our ideas? Uh, 262. Okay. Let's get off of unbalanced tech. That'll save us a decent chunk of money as well. So you don't have to root out corruption so hard. Yeah, it's cost us 9.8 a month. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a lot. What is Cobalt Religion? We are the Dragon Cobalt Dragon Cult. 50% looting speed and 50% available loot. We like looting. Uh, he has red, green, and blue advisors. Cobalt Santa is a beacon of tolerance. True, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Yeah, beacon of tolerance. We are so cool and accepting of all kobolds. Hopefully you're a couple. Why don't you convert? Uh, cost money. It'll get converted through he who anyways. Um, mostly cost money. Mostly. Ooh, our queen regent has construction cost reductions. Am I sure that none of my stuff is good? What about here? Okay, I'll build uh, a couple of those up. Build that up, too. Religion sounds like it sucks. Oh, it absolutely does. It is an absolutely trash religion. It's getting an overhaul, I believe. Um, I did consider flipping over to Regent Court, but I was like, nah, that's too cursed. That's too cursed. <sighs> why? Why, 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 why? Okay, can I, can I get there in time? Could be close. Uh, hey, Astera. How goes gaslighting yourself to actually believe the volcano is a dragon? What do you mean? The volcano is a dragon. You're crazy. Why would you say something like that? The volcano is clearly a dragon. Clearly. Don't you see it? It's all dragon shaped. What about the thought kobolds? Uh, thought kobolds is actually pretty good. It's a pretty good decision to make if you're playing as the uh, smart kobolds. The whatever they're called. Come what they're called. Um, artificer kobolds. It's a, it is a good idea to do that, but we don't care. Maybe build up that horde? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's a bait. We're not putting our money into the horde. No way. There's 24 yearly tax income. That's nice. We're going to get to this core creation cost. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We don't get there. I know you're really worried about it. I know I am. But I would like it. Sooner rather than later. <laughs> uh, when can I revoke land again? Right now, which means Celsius. More money. Can always go cube kobolds? Absolutely not. Well, no. 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 Uh, how long to that truce with the rent? It's up. Do you need to be on top of that. Ooh, okay. It is in about one year. Do I have any rebels up here? Uh, Peregrine, you lair, Frostwaller, yes. Provoke. We'll deal with the Selmaldorians. I forgot to get rid of the elves. Uh, which mods are you using? Uh, XP point mods will get you to a collection of all the mods that I'm currently using, but it is, uh, Aminar, obviously. Uh, Homebrew, and then all these sub-monument, or monument sub-mods. I always say sub-monument mods. Why? I don't know. I, I don't know why I always say that, but I do. It's like a consistent thing that I say for whatever reason. I don't know where I like picked that up or, or started thinking like that, but I did. Uh, it really doesn't make much sense to switch religions when your whole deal is being kobold religious zealots. Yeah, that's the other thing is that we are kobold religious zealots this run. Uh, so Maldor provoke revolts here. We seem to make sure that we're done with these revolts when we go to war with Laurent. 
as we are going to focus in on killing the rent as fast as possible. Now, they are allied to Ulair and Cold Market, which kind of sucks because uh, Cold Market's up here, which is going to be a bit of a distraction. Do we go... Do we go to 10,000 cannons? Can we afford it? Not really. Remember, our economy is running on Laurentish War Reparations, so 10 cannons might be a bit much. Might be a bit much. But we're going to have to take this out first before we deal with Laurent and Ulair. And we will annex Ulair in the war, and we will annex uh, Cold Market as well. Yeah. As long as we can actually do so. As long as it's physically possible. What is Cobalt Zen's stance on Dragon Dominion over an alien tier? Uh, we'd probably be big fans. I would assume. It would be weird to not be big fans. Uh, Everwarf. Yep, let's go deal with them. Three cans for barrage. True, we could just barrage, but we are a little bit behind on our mill tech here, so I don't want to fall uh, too far behind. Because again, I mean, tech 11 is, or yeah, tech 11 gives us infantry shock and in combat with, and then tech 12 gives us our next units. So we want to make sure that we are, uh, you know, not behind on that. Not behind on that. All right, uh, Alan Sayer, we have to wait for them to get to 100. Anytime. Get out of this trade company. Don't think we need to, though. Uh, how much trade power do I have here? 36. Oh, we're actually getting kind of close to uh, getting a merchant out of here. Once we go and we take a salt from Ground Bar at some point, then we'll be set. We'll be in. We'll be in. All right, Spider so Laurent is up. We have just a few months here before the war starts. Any chance to go to 50? No. Okay. Well, go ahead and send those guys down to there, and you're going to go down to the front lines, and we're going to go for it. <clears throat> Let's find this crazy map exposure. Are you talking about how slow it is for us to find things out? I think it's 1544 then. If it's not 1494, it's probably 1544 when we see everything. Mike said for the orc rework. I didn't know they were doing an orc rework. Trade company buildings? Uh, no. No, that's not really worth it. We would have to build too many of them. Um, and they're too expensive. I don't think it'll actually, like, help us get there either. Uh, we could upgrade the center of trade, I guess. How much of a difference does that make? That could kind of give us an idea on what we're looking at here. Uh, got us up to 40. That's pretty good. We'll buy this one. I don't know if it's going to give us 10%, but maybe. I was wrong. Okay, it does give enough. Look at that. Uh, so the problem with our current trading setup is that we're collecting the Dragon Coast and we can't see the Serpent's Head. So I can't like pull trade out of the Lower Allen and up and then down. And it's the same thing here. What I could do is collect here. Which is probably what I want to do. And here. Like, we're literally just throwing away all that trade value. I think we just collect, which is usually suboptimal. But considering the fact that we can't actually bring any trade whatsoever back to our home node right now, I think this is probably worth it. Right now, we're making 12.09 uh, from trade income. Let's see what we can make afterwards. See what we can make afterwards. Uh, 16.35. Yeah. Okay. So that is definitely, definitely, definitely worth more. We're collected 0.73 in Viswal and 4 up here. Though, is that going to make me lose my merchant since I no longer have 50% control? No, it looks like it's fine for now. Get rid of that monthly devastation. Got to get to that core creation cost. Need, need, need. All right, there's our truce with the rent up. We got to declare them immediately because there's already a coalition they could join. Uh, yep, we're going to go Monstrous Conquest here. All right. So, pull our troops back a bit. Actually, go scorch this. 
because we have a fort line now. I don't know how well that fort line is going to work. Uh, the strip might be a little scuffed because they have a fort here, so I think they could probably walk through. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. And we're going to take you lair in this war, too, so we might build a fort in Westmere behind North Viswal. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, so you need to move in to take out Cold Market immediately. Yeah, you're going to scorch and move back. Now, I know what they're going to do. They're going to rush over here. Uh, in fact, we should probably get a fort built up here as well. Probably should have done that earlier. It's too late now, though. Oh, uh, we can actually move in towards you, Lair. Do you have any troops? You have 11,000. I'm not sure where they are, though. Let's go ahead and... Yep, we have defensiveness there already. Are there any other edicts around that I can get rid of to save money? Uh, Yeah, there's this one. That's it, though. Cool. No, Necklace, I do not want your loan. Thank you, though. All right, leave enough troops up here for now. Send the other 7,000 down south. These should be pretty safe up here. Uh, we have a unified fort line, so they can't just, like, sneak in and attack us. They could land troops, though. <laughs> could land troops if they wanted to. Um, yeah, we can start to besiege you, Lair, even though we don't have cannons down here. We're going to send 8,000 troops, though, because I don't want them to come and attack us, preferably. Uh, is this enough to get you Lair out of the war? I guess is a good question. No. Okay, and they will get annexed. And the goal of this war... Oh, that's bad. Uh, is to take money, war reps, and then whatever I can get my greedy little cobbled hands on. Like that. Uh, so Exus rents out 27,000 troops against us. Okay, well, that changes that plan. Now, you definitely need to back up. Definitely, definitely, definitely need to back up. I need a morale guy. Yep, there they are. We should definitely target this stack. But I'm going to need I'm gonna need my best general on it. <clears throat> my best general is, unfortunately, up here. So hold off on that. Send a different siege guy in. Put our better combat general on down here. Uh, we'll go try and pick some fights. Remember, it is war score based off of battles. So we want to fight the small stacks. <laughs> Can we use the warriors right now? Yes, we could. Yes, we could. All right, there's the siege of Cold Market. Done and completed. Very good. So we can get our cannons moving south. Um, Cold Market won't want out yet, but in time... In time, they will realize that uh, they're done. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to take that fight. I'm not going to lie. Oh, nice. I wasn't even going for radical reforms. Cool. Well, I guess that answers that question. If you're tribal, uh, you can, in fact, get radical reforms. Uh, yeah, you can both be fired. Goodbye. Free monarch points. Love it. Uh, we'll try and get another trade efficiency guy, though. As for you... No, what about... No, nope. fire you as well. I need morale. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Please and thank you. Uh, we could do another admin idea. I don't think we should, though. Don't think we should. Alright, there's a morale of armies guy. There's... I guess we'll take the Diplo rep. And level 3 national tax is too much. I'll take a level 2 production efficiency, though. Does mean we lose a little bit of cash, but that's okay. It'll get paid off. Uh, did you get your firing click and rehire them? No, I didn't. I didn't really need the inflation guy. And I guess I could have done that with the trade guy, but it's not all that big of a deal. I probably should have with the trade guy, though. More just laziness than anything else. Than uh, forgetting that I could do that. No, no. That is a an old trick. Must be always remembered. All right, this is farmlands. We'll take this fight. Okay. Cool. No stack wipe, but uh, we beat them up. Though they did... <laughs> they did more damage to me than I thought they would. It's fine. Uh, we need to go contest this, so keep on walking. Laser reduction idea seems like the best thing about ever for you at the moment. Are you sure? 
that is interest per annum. So that's for loans. That's not interest. It's for loans, for loans. Uh, I don't think admin has stuff for interest. I believe that's under economic. Yeah. 0.1 yearly inflation reduction. Uh, and besides, we already bought down our inflation, so it's not too bad right now. <laughs> he says it's sitting at five, knowing that this piece deal is going to get probably another like two. That's only place six, seven. Our economy is growing. We are getting stronger. We are getting scarier. All right, let's go ahead and sally out too. Luckily, the rent's troops don't seem to be doing that hot this time. Like, I don't know what idea groups they took, but uh, uh, they took Explo Economic Offensive. Okay, and they have three in Offensive. So they have the plus one shock and leader maneuver. They're about to get their manpower recovery speed, siege ability, discipline. Ugh, yeah, it's going to suck. It's going to suck. The he who the gnomes, I did fall streamer. I did. The gnomes are gone. They are very, very gone. Uh, now we're working on the humans. That's coming along all right. Coming along all right. All right, you want to see each of that. You make your way up here. I really want to wipe this Exus army if I can. There's the Alan Sayer Septus. Annoying, but not much I can do about it. Uh, I guess it's not true. I can send this stack up to deal with rebels. I'm gonna recover my troops here a bit. And make sure you have the four shock general. Yep. All right. What's my army tradition right now? It's 78. 78, huh? Oh, boy. I, I can get one general. All right, we already got one. One general. I need lots of shock pips here. I need lots and lots and lots of shock pips, please. Uh, well, that doesn't count. We do have two siege, so I will, I'll take it. 76? Yeah, we got a couple of uh, events to get the army tradition. Edmund Tech 9, I remember when you were at 3 in 1495. Well, I'm just goaded with the sauce. And got a 6th admin queen regent. And focused admin. And uh, just took tech. I had minus 25%? Or did we get, did we get to minus 30% on one of those tech costs? I think we got to minus 30 we did a lot of things to offset that. A lot of things to offset that. Only to 67 too. Yeah, true. True. She has been pretty good. Pretty good regent for us. But if she died, I wouldn't be the saddest. But, but, I'll take it. All right, cold market's out. Thank you for your contribution, cold market. Uh, delete this fort. It's useless. And get to coring that up. Uh, I did not put my siege guy that I literally just got on this stack, so let's fix that. Two siege, please. She dies, we will have a war wizard. True. So if she doesn't die. Oh, nice. Gwetin is now cold. Um, if she does die, then we get a war wizard. If she doesn't die, we get more admin points. It's a win-win. All right, spread our warship. Fifty provinces. Our cobalt dragon cult. Though we have held faith in the Dragon Father for countless generations, those around us have remained misguided. We must turn them from their false pantheon and instead bring them into the fiery light of the Dragon Cult. For 25 years, plus one missionaries and plus 5% missionary strength. 5% is a lot. Like, that's a crazy amount of missionary strength to get from a mission. That's like JAD levels of, of missionary strength. So now we're going to go in and start converting things because it's way faster. Way faster. Okay, we're going to deal with them. Then we're going to come back here, unsee that, and then go back down. I'm going to help with the fight so we're going to win the war. It's going to be great. Am I still looking any more cord? No. <laughs> no, they're not. Less cord, if anything. Less cord. It looks like I made this into a full state, unfortunately. Probably just full state the rest of it. Ah! Um. No. Okay, that's a, that's important. Retreat to here. Not worth uh, losing our siege. 
Do you have more than 21,000 troops now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, uh... He's, uh... He's going for it. Yep. Lawrence at 33,000 manpower, too. I can fix that. All right. Embracing our heritage. We came from dragons, and in the dragon wake, all Kanor learned exactly what that meant. But in the century since, too many soft bodies have forgotten that lesson. Even some of our own have strayed from their vision and purpose, distracted by gold's luster to forget why exactly and for whom we hoard it. No longer. The entire state must be reorganized. With the dragon and his vision at center, nothing less than total commitment will do. All shall feel our flame. We become a theocracy. Or we... Does this really take priority over feeling the horde for 10 legitimacy? Now... To be fair, staying as a horde or as a as a tribe is probably better overall. To be honest, uh, but that would be boring. So we're going to become a theocracy. Now that does mean that we're going to lose these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we do this, no more mage air. So keep that in mind. No more major. Uh, can we become a horde? No. Nope. Because we are a monstrous nation. Do it the oxy time? You can still roll the mage straight randomly? Yeah, I mean, you can still get it, like, randomly. Theo? Alright. All shall feel our flame. An air is needed. All right. Any way I can gain more devotion? I can gain a lot of money that way. No, we want to boost our devotion. Ooh, yeah, it's bad. A local preacher. Yeah, we're gonna go for a local preacher for more devotion. Uh, before we do that, though, oh, seventy-two percent crown land. Regent assumes power. <laughs> All right, let's do with our estates real quick. So, the mages. We're going to want reduced research regulations. Patronage of the magical arts. And state organization. Right? Or are they going to make me go religious? Are they going to make me go religious here? They might. They might, they might, they might, they might, they might. Uh, as for our artificers, I don't think we're going to have any artificers. Um, but we can probably give them state. No, I don't want to lose production efficiency. We definitely don't want an international GOMO. I guess we go independent union. Yeah, let's go independent unions here. Uh, sounds good. Yeah, but it won't actually. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, also look at our manpower now. Drops from 80,000 to... Or 116,000 to 80,000. And our force must drop to 97. 97. Let's go major organization state. Sure. Um, nobility. We will give you... Monthly mill. Right of council. Supremacy over the theocratic empire. We're not going to give neighbor raid. We'll give monthly admin. We will give oversight of the shamans. We will gain enforced unity of faith, expansionist zealotry. Um, we want protected burials? No. Nah. Merchant guilds will give monthly diplo. We will give free enterprise. And that's probably it. We don't need to give them anything else. Hey, that's bad. <laughs> and I cannot turn my people into leaders. All right, let's get our government reforms going then. We are currently in a clerical state. We could switch over to a majocracy. That is something we could do. I don't know how that affects our mission tree. I don't think it does because we don't need artificers. But doing this means no artificers, pretty much. But like... 
mages. Think about it. Uh, hey, Irish Angel. How's the runs been going? I had to leave around the third run yesterday. We're doing much better. Magic is how you got here? True. Magic is how we got here. You know, these amount of artificers you have from the monuments? Yeah, but like if I wanted to play artificers, then I'd play the artificer kobolds. I think we do some magic as a treat. Minus five percent artificer capacity? That's fine. Five percent all power cost. Worthy trade. Worthy trade. All right, level two internal mission: Tall to true faith, manpower recovery speed. Uh, don't want that one. Balanced mission for yearly devotion. Commercial mission for merchants and trade power. I mean, I think external mission makes the most sense. It's either balanced mission or external mission. We already have pretty good manpower recovery speed. The yearly devotion would be really nice for us. Because devotion gives uh, reform progress growth. Gives mage loyalty, prestige, and national tax. No artifacts. What about our traps? We're not those kind of art. We're not those kind of kobolds. I think we're going to go balanced. We're going to go balanced. Uh, education of the state. New rulers will trigger education events. No. Education of the court. Advisor cost reductions. Education of missionaries for 2% missionary strength. And minus 50% missionary maintenance cost. And cheaper idea cost. Ooh, these are all actually really good. Well, not that one. These three are all really good for us. Cheaper idea cost is always good in homebrew. Um, education of missionaries. I mean, we can start to convert things before we hee hoo, which would help with our religious unity. It also makes the missionaries super cheap. And then education of the court for cheaper advisors, which is just really good. Which is just really, 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 really good. Uh, if you were magic, the leaders because more important. Yeah, but does it actually work? Because I've asked before, and people have said that this doesn't actually work. First, you'll put money into all now this year in Elf in Disguise. No, 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 no. Do we have any advisor reductions yet? No, we don't. The education events. Yeah. Do the education events actually work? Does it? Do I actually get more monarch points for my heirs? Does it? Does it? Does it work? Does it do the thing? I mean, I guess we could try it. <clears throat> I've just never picked it, so I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Living twenty percent longer. Yeah. You don't know either. You think it does? Use it when the expansion came out. It worked then. All right. You know what? We'll try it. Education of Nixa. Administration needs our attention, diplomacy, or military. Oh, so you get plus one monarch skill and plus one free policies until their death. Uh, that's pretty good. Well, no, we don't want to choose admin. Because we already have max admin, so it would do literally nothing. Uh, we want probably military. <laughs> Huge. Seven admin. Yeah, no, that's not how the game works. You can't do that. That's illegal. That's illegal. Is it? That's not for air? No, it's for whenever your ruler takes over. Whenever your ruler takes over. All right. Uh, and that's all those that we could do. We're close to the next one, though. Uh, as for ideas, yeah, we could. We're not going to, though. Yeah, could, but not going to. Oh, did I get rid of my two siege guy here? I did. Dang it. Are they actually going to attack me here? Because they might. If they bring all their forces to bear, they could probably win. Uh, our heir is Craven. Well. Ain't that just a uh, good old time. You're getting thrown into battle, kid. All right, there's Grey Mill taken. Uh, they're actually pretty good. They have three siege. Yeah, we're going to walk up and around here. Right, go ahead and scorch this. 
And now we can bring these other 18,000 down to help. Do we get extra morale from the clergy estate? Uh, yes, we did. Yes. Did, we did, we did. Oh, you think you're running away, huh? You're not going anywhere. Goodbye. All right, you walk back up here. Uh, so they can walk past this fort, unfortunately. So we're going to have to build another one here or something. Because... AI fort rules, I guess. Come in here. This should be a stack wipe if all things go well. Uh, if he reinforces, it might not be. Let's hold off, actually. Need room to lock in here. Okay, now go. There we go. Was not able to get there in time. We do need to break this siege. Ah, damn. Uh, we're gonna go for a gifted academic here. For monarch point generation. A four two one. Well that sucks. And we definitely want to go admin focus here. And we definitely want to turn you well, we'll see what uh No, you're gonna turn to a general. You're also very bad. Who are troops to the rent X was dead, our rival. Unfortunately. Unfortunately we have minus five percent morale of armies now. Luckily though, X was his general just died. I think we still take this fight, though. Oh, he's not even going to back him up. He's going to leave him to die. Nice. So there goes that. Go ahead and get this occupied, and you move up to two fork. Uh, we'll side... Well, I don't want to give anyone land. Air 55, love theocracies. Yeah, the good thing is it'll give us access to a lot of generals pretty consistently for free. And with general staff, that's not terrible. Just means our generals will die somewhat often, but... It's a sacrifice I'm going to make. Uh, do we take this fight here? There's still tech 10. Maybe, but I want to get some occupations first. We should probably take South Viswal. Yeah, go ahead and get our three siege guy in charge. We're probably going to leave everyone on there. Just so we can actually get through it quickly. Ooh, colonialism has spread to a province of ours? Ah, alright, it's spreading. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Now we wait, and we watch, and we're patient. And we get through this siege faster than they get through this siege. Are they to their fourth idea yet? Yes, they are, unfortunately. So they now have manpower recovery speed. Which is not great when our entire thing is them, hopefully. What in the world? Why are you at war with Laurent? Bjarnrik, Sorn, Kosti, Delary, Colonial War? Uh, I'm going to assume that means that Bjarnrik has a great conqueror right now. Because that would be a rather bold declaration if they don't. Uh, Government Force, what I have now? I have Mageocracy for minus 5% all power cost and 10% Mage Influence. Balanced Mission for 0.5 yearly devotion and minus 10 change national focus cooldown. And we have Education of the Theocrat. Which gives us plus one to a monarch, mu yeah, to a monarch point, and one free policy for that same monarch point for a ruler's lifespan. School more theocracy. Uh, Trisha for memes. We are sitting at uh, twenty-eight thousand. We've killed more through battles. Killed more through battles so far. Nice one south visual and a pretty low chance siege. Love to see it. I don't care about my artifice capacity. Thank you very much. We can continue to convert things. It's a free source of prestige for us in the next era. And getting 10 conversions now will help us get to that faster. You have artificers? We do. We do have artificers. Kobolds get access to artificers, but uh, we're not really going to use them all that much. I don't really care about them because uh, we are about magic and not artificers. Besides, our artifice capacity is currently zero. So... That would not do us any good, because we're a mageocracy. You like artificers? Uh, artificers are very good. Artificers are very, very good. But we're just not going to use them in this run. Yeah, we're not, we don't want that. Or this. Alright, let's go contest the siege. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, guess that's what we're doing now. Uh, No, we're going to retreat out of this. Big green play? You ready for this? 
Let me retreat. Boom. We retreat into a 10 to 1. Easy. Uh, completely intentional. There's a little bit of money. It's all right. I want to go stack like this. X was stacked very badly. Because they will not come back. Uh, oh, wait. Are there anybody here? Yeah, there's certain 20 kobolds there. They may assault that, but, I mean, if they want to assault it, fine. So be it. All right. This should get rid of this X was stack. I hope. Or not. Or not. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So that's no longer rented out against us. Uh, you have a four fire general. What are our troops good at right now, by the way? Okay, they're still better at shock than fire, technically. So, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we are at 32% war score. We are at 17 more for ticking war score. We can get more from battles. But I think we want to start trying to push into Laurent to actually, like, occupy territory. Instead of just trying to fight battles defensively here. So we're going to attack this stack. Are you really going to reinforce that? Looks like they are. Ooh. But it was scorched. Okay. Uh, go ahead and shift consolidate here. Just reinforce as soon as possible. This is farmland, so it's not like a great fort for us to defend on, but... Ooh, our good general just died. Uh, no, we're backing off. Yep, we're backing off. No reason to stay in that fight. All right, we need to recover 21,000 troops. There's Arboran, which means they're probably going to join a coalition against us now. If I had to guess. You're not Tech 11 yet, are you? No. Nope, nope, nope. We got a wall breach here. But we need to recover our army. Uh, hopefully we can attack this 11k stack without people joining in, though. We're not going to attack it yet. We're just going to sit here. We're going to stare at them. Do I have a recovery guy? No. Nope, nope, nope. We do not. Water shortage... <laughs> They're at 14%. The AI doesn't know what to do. They run around in circles. Uh, hey, maybe Pigeon has it going pretty good. Pretty good. Just fighting against the rent. Trying to... Uh, what we really need is like one more big, good battle. And that should kind of push the rent back and out of here. Though they do have 55,000 troops now. But their manpower is slowly but surely going down. But I need to start occupying things to like hurt them long term. Just taking out little bits of land at a time isn't really going to do that. I need to punish them for existing, you know? Punishment for existing. Uh, let's bring you over here. And let's shift consolidate. Take all these troops that have zero in them. Send them over to here where they're going to be safe. Where they can kind of reinforce faster. Alone. Yeah, get that guy. And then combat width is currently sitting at 25, so let's go ahead and make sure that we have 25,000 troops on the front lines here. Leave the 203 over there. And move in. There we go, it's a 4 3 3 3. So hopefully this does some good damage to them. We do have a morale of armies guy here. They are going to reinforce. We're going to take pretty big losses here. But hopefully we're able to make this work. We will win the battle, but it's going to be very costly. Yep. It sucks because our current ruler is Craven. So, less morale armies. But not much that we can do about it. So we might as well just go and take things while they're retreating. I'm looking to take this, even if it's 50% more expensive. Uh, we have to take Miltech. So, not really an option. We're going to help the Jad Empire. is for running either a Kobold or no game. Uh, yeah, Jet Empire is very strong. Very, very strong. What's this war for? Uh, we're trying to take max money, take all this land, and make sure Laurent can't join any coalitions against me. So we did just see there, Everthil will be able to join coalitions against me now. So it's probably not too long until we have to fight a coalition war. Uh, there will probably be a couple of them in this run. It's kind of unavoidable. Kind of unavoidable, unfortunately. Even though I don't like fighting coalition wars. 
Yeah, you've got cores here that you want. You're not getting them back, though. Another Blanc in the Rent War? Yep. Well, I am a uh, goddamn psychic, aren't I? Okay. Coalition War it is. Uh, all right. Well. Peace out with the rent. We might have to. I really don't want to, though. I just your coalition war. I do. <laughs> I do. I have more shock damage for 25 years. Uh, the Kenorians seek to end us, seek to band together and send their armies to destroy us. However, with the might of the dragons on our side, it is they who shall be destroyed. Minus 50% core creation cost, minus 15% province war score cost, and plus 10% shock damage for 25 years. Retreat to the fort line's time. It might just be that time, yes. The problem is, there is no fort line here yet. Uh, honestly, I was not expecting to have to uh, throw down over here yet, so I wasn't really all worried about it. I'm now worried about it. I suppose this is a pretty good fort. Uh, we're definitely taking debt. Like, there's no doubt about it. We're definitely taking debt. Um, all right, merchants, let's go indebted. And we're going to take this interest per annum, to save us money. We tell a national idea, centralize the dragon cult. The worship of dragons in cobalt society was extremely loose throughout the majority of history and had no actual grounds of legitimacy. After the formation of Kobold Zan, the worship of dragons came under control of the state, which led to the creation of an actual religious text, written forms such as documented dragon heritage and the tales of significant dragons becoming established literature. Okay. Yeah, they're not even willing to give me money. I mean, at the very least, I need money and more reps from them. I, I can't leave without taking money. Uh, we'll be fine. Go ahead and throw on a defensive edict here. And a defensive edict here. And one here. Alright, boys. Uh, hold the line. Because you have to. So I can get Laurent out of this war. And we're going to stop converting for a moment to save money. Laurent's enthusiasm? Oh, they're on high. They're on high. Relative strength of alliances. Because we are quite outnumbered. Quite outnumbered. We really need to take this. Thank you. Uh, can I get more war score from battles? Yes, I can. Uh, I think we need to contest this first. Never mind. We go over here. Uh, and I just need to take this tech. Can I focus mill? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Sucks, but we have to focus mill. Can we build more troops? Uh, I could. Can't afford it, though. Can't afford it, though. Uh, go ahead and sell you out. Just to really put the point home. Alright, it's Laurent at 50% war score. We can bring these troops in now. They are recovered enough to be helpful. Armory Temple is looking like a tasty snack sitting here alone. Yep, they're backing off. They do have a wall breach on Gwetton. Let's go and contest that. We have taken war score on Laurent, so we don't have to rush in at him. Uh, we can enact a new government reform, religious doctrine, monthly war exhaustion reduction. Seems kind of nice. Admin tech cost reduction. Seems kind of nice. Expand temple rights. Seems kind of nice. And maintain balance of power. Seems kind of nice. They're all kind of good for us. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think we need the monthly war exhaustion. Don't think there's any other campaign I take it in. But uh, we kind of need it. Especially if we are going to take all of Kanor. It's going to be a high price. I don't think we're taking land from the rent in this war. 
God, that sucks. We'll wait for the mages to be more loyal to get all power costs before we take ideas. 11 miltech? Who? Where? Who? Where? What? Hmm? Me? Oh, thank you. I thought you were talking about someone else, and I was like, no. No. No, it's us, which is good. That should give us quite the advantage here. Uh, I don't actually want to fight Arboran, so... We just run away now. Actually, go wipe these guys. Go wipe these guys. Oh. Burn it. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Uh, okay, we gotta go down here. <clears throat> so, a short choose for time for Laurent means sooner bonk time. Yes, but that does mean that Laurent is not going to be. Oh, they they really followed me all the way up here. Rude. 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 All right, we'll take those losses. Uh, we need to go do with this. Then we have to go run down to fight Laurent. It's zero percent with a wall breach. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. I really didn't think they'd declare Coalition War this early. Didn't think they'd quite get there in time. Hey, can my ruler die, though? Like, he really needs to die. Uh, also, we need to go to a... Well, I guess a, no admin advisor for now. Ugh, we lost Siege and New Cobble. God damn it. That's right, Lorenz on 5. What's my war score from battles? 37? Okay. I need Laurent gone, because I have to, I have to focus on the Coalition War. Lost the Siege of Sel Maldor. To who? To Sel Maldor. Well, fair enough. Can't complain too much, I guess. Uh, would this help me get up to my infantry combat ability at all? No, it wouldn't. BPEC, I'm assuming, is in the Coalition War, but they are alone. So we're going to go take him out. There we go. All right, I need another general. Uh, my only condition is that you have to get me six shock pips. I need six shock pips, please. Are you expelling the Persian humans? Yes, I'm getting rid of the humans. All right, uh, P, L, P, O, L, A, K. No, that's, wow, I, I did that so wrong. P, L, P, O, L. I should have just copied and pasted. It would have been so much faster. Not what I asked for, but I'll take it. But I'll take it. All right, Laurent, you've got to want out, man. What universe do you still want in this war? Uh, okay. Are you going to reinforce this? No. Goodbye. Okay. So that should max out our war score from battles. Yes. Minus four. I'm not taking 800 less ducats. That's not happening. That's not happening. I'm taking a province in the rent piece. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There we go. I mean, I, I could try and stay in for this. Nah, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. We'll just come back. Thank you for the money. All right. Let's go kill B back. Free war score. All right, move north. Uh, go ahead and fire this guy. Grab that core creation cost. And we'll stack back these 5k. Nice. We have to go contest that at some point. We're not really beating him up as bad as I'm hoping we would. At least not as fast. Uh, we'll take this just to avoid the unbalanced research. Not that I want to take it, but we should. Grotesque Receptors, hopefully they fight. My enemies. That's what I meant to say. Yep, there they are. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, not having a fort here was definitely a rather large oversight in my plans. Dame's Crown. Why is Dame's Crown in this? Oh, they got called in. That's so annoying. Wow. 
Why did you do this? Because you're pious. Fair enough. Alright. Is what it is. Go attack here. We are attacking in the hills, but doesn't matter. It's 10 to 1. Let's go contest these guys. Oh, all power cost. Beautiful. Beautiful. This should be a stack wipe. Oh, our air died. Give me a powerful mage. I don't care if they're bad with stats. x is going to declare war upon us. Really? That's unexpected. Can we start hitting that crawl button? You know... I'd like to, but, uh, ideas are probably more important. Well, this has all gone to shit real fast, let me tell you. <laughs> this was going so well. I don't think we're dead, but, like, damn. Is that dude, you only have 30k troops? Yeah, probably. But I don't really have the manpower to, uh, well... Another 30,000. It's going to take our economy, but it's fine. It's fine. So we'll fight X was too. Punished by greed? Mm, maybe. I mean, yeah. Probably. Probably, probably, probably. It's fine. We just fight battles. They'll do a uh, anti monstrous CB and then we'll just win battles and we'll kill them. No problem. No problem. Uh, proceed some land battles. That's nice. Okay, I really need my current ruler to die. I know I've said that quite a few times, but now I, I like really need that to happen. Yep, there it is. There's anti monstrous. Uh, that's not good. Okay, we can get out. We can run away. Can I get? Uh... All right. Well, let's try and get out of here. It's okay. You can toss some coin to the hole, and all will be forgiven. Uh, is that true? I don't think that's true. Yeah, we can't have any loans either. Okay, all of you need to move over into here. You need to come down here. They have a six shock general. Ugh. Not good. Um, we need to recover our troops, though. Need to recover our troops, though. We're going to get all these troops together here. Okay, we have war reps. I can loot things if I need to. Ooh, that's not good. The coalition is uh, slowly breaking apart, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. <clears throat> Look, we had a free early game, so now it's got to get difficult, right? Now it's got to get difficult. How much war score do I have from battles? 40? Damn, that's bad. That's dumb. Again, you shouldn't get maxed out on war score from battles in the coalition war. Uh, but we need to go deal with Exus, I think. Uh, yeah, this has fun. At least we're gonna hear this two boring types soon. True, 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 true. true. Some Maldor's up there, and you're not willing to peace out anytime, right? Yeah, no. Right, let's chase down this one K stack. Mm. No. I want to, I'm going to attack this X with stack because they don't have any. Did you call in allies? Bro. You coward. You called in all your allies. You son of a gun. Fight me one on one. You coward. Absolute coward. Calling in all your allies to fight little old me. Little old me. <clears throat> okay, we gotta unsee some stuff here, I think. Uh, you... Yep. Go ahead and get our general staff ideas going some more. Uh, we need to throw down some defensive edicts. Alright. I swear, if, if their enemies don't take advantage of this and they don't attack them, I'm gonna be real sad. 
It's gonna be real, real sad. Yeah, we are bleeding 20 ducats a month. I guess it's not as bad as we've been. Siege that stupid temple. Yeah, probably not a bad idea, but they're gonna take all these sieges if I do that. Ooh, we're getting kind of boxed in here. Yeah, we're gonna lose this fight. Damn it. We don't have a full front line either. And we're kobolds. Are lazy missionaries intentional? Yeah. I need to save as much money as possible right now. I know we have a lot, but uh, uh, I have a feeling these wars aren't going to be over by the time that we deal with Laurent, so we have to be ready for that possibility. We might get Gawet in here, which would be kind of a shame. Okay, you're going to go down here and deal with those guys. You need to go deal with Pearl's Edge. Mage spells? Don't have any. Are you talking about, like, these mage spells? For 2.5% morale of armies? Or are you talking about Broad War? Broad Ward. We can throw down a Broad Ward. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Save us a little bit of time, at least. Little bit of time, at least. Damn, we are taking major losses here. Oof. Kobolds, come on, man. You gotta fight a little bit better than that. <clears throat> uh, slacking twice for manpower. Should have slackened before we switched over to a majocracy. Release some opiums for Coalition War to end. It's not the worst idea. What do they want? They want money. And they want me to release uh, Donetsk. Is that who that is? Yeah, release Donetsk as a sovereign state. But, like, we're so close to being the coalition. I think we keep going. Like we're so close to being the coalition. It kind of be a throw to walk away now. Go after a money temple. Yes, that's that's the goal. Yeah, we're gonna lose Gawetan and stuff. Doesn't matter. Go take care of Pearl's Edges troops. Come on together. Let's walk over here. Relieve that. Okay. We're at fourteen percent here. Maybe always accepting certain defeat. Mm, tactical retreat. Tactical retreat is a better way to put it. They are going to reinforce this. Surprisingly. Uh, okay. So all of you in too. I hate how pop-ups appear in the middle of the screen. Okay. Uh. Okay. They broke that siege at the very least. I don't want to engage that. Move down here. Are they tracking me down? No, they're walking away. Okay. Put all those guys there. You're going to go up here. No, switch those around. You're going to go there. No, wait, no. We have four siege. Yeah. And then three siege. Go here. Perfect. Yes. That's what I want. He is not coming for me. Maybe it's coming for me. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, no, I don't. I'm gonna click on North Viswell. Throw down a defensive edict there. This is real cobalt gameplay right here. Real cobalt gameplay right here. Go and barrage that. We really need our leader to die. We really need our leader to die. 
having negative morale and having a mage general just sitting there waiting to be used is uh, very frustrating. Uh, how have we not getting that thrust with EO8? We haven't seen it yet. We'll see what happens when we do. See what happens when we do. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Can I hear you? Uh, hey, okay. How's it going? North Viswal looted. Okay. It's fine. Just halflings. Yeah, our fort line did not hold up. Did not hold up. That's all right. Uh, yep, go and do that. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to our 5%. Oh, fuck. How do I get uh, a little bit more war score here? <sighs> Ensure unseizing things would probably help. I think more importantly, we need to make sure that... Our brand doesn't grab this fort right here. Nobility before, before performance? Uh, sure. Don't take it on 14%, please. Please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, we'll do that. All right, I've got to piece them out. All right, south we go. Off to the next war. Uh, forts. Forts, forts, forts. None of these are good forts. None of them are good forts. Like, do I just want to delete the fort in Goetan and build it on like Somberwold instead? And then build a fort in Vezeldak. I think I do. I can't afford to have these grasslands forts, farmlands forts. Can't afford it. They're not defensible. And uh, defensible is the name of the game for us. Especially because eventually we're going to have to fight coalitions like this more often. What does Bightman and Gwetan do for us? Nothing. You have to be Gwetan to use it or any other Olenic culture. Uh, but it gives province war score cost. For those peoples. Okay, there's a stack wipe there. Oh, that's bad. Any chance I can stop those in time? Ooh, and these. He says very unconfidently. Uh, go ahead and sally out. We do, in fact, win these. Scorch that. And move up to uh, here to recoup. Uh, can I put defensiveness here to make sure that doesn't fall, please? Please, 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 please. Don't let that one fall. Uh, loans, we can pay off here. Not going to lie. I didn't think it was that much. All right, Exodus is on low. Truces with the rent are up in 39. We have five years. We gotta make this truce last like seven years or something like that. Damn. Uh, I need max money. I need war reps and a humiliate preferably to get back up over 50 power projection. Can I throw an embargo down on you? Yeah. There you go. You're making your way back down. If this on siege, they're sitting there. That's fine. Wait until we can embrace colonialism. We're getting there. Uh, that's fine. Cobalt's need a highway like surface mine rail. True. True. We do. We do. We do. We do. Uh, what is this? This is a forest fort. That's a forest fort. It's an urban fort. Yeah, so this land here is going to be really vulnerable. Like super vulnerable. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. I don't know how to avoid that. Okay. They're like super stuck on that fort. We're going to move in towards x and try and end this war. Pro 
preferably this is grasslands we don't want to take this fight then uh smugglers running rampant I'll take that hit Kawaii separatists we'll deal with those eventually uh there we go we can take another general staff idea which completes another national idea kobold denny fire and swarm kobolds are an impatient lot and that does not bode well with the line infantry of conventional warfare Kobolds saw the opportunity with numbers and their ingenuity in firearms. Masses of kobolds would fire at will against the enemy, while an even greater horde would swarm the enemy with traditional melee weapons. 5% infantry combat ability and 5% movement speed. Very nice. So that helps us out. Let's get plus one land leader siege. We really got to get up to expand our officer core here. That'll be good. How's the of humans going? Actually, pretty fast. This is relatively fast. I will say. I will say. We're spreading them out real, real good. Real good. Okay, you need to send your cannon. What? Oh. How many troops do they have? 53, 70,000, 17 over there, 34 there. Uh, okay. Get that. You get that. these sieged down back to us there's 32,000 there so they have most of their troops over here they still have some floating around I'm not sure where but let's see we'll see more humans leave all right oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy an exciting start to, to today's stream It's been two hours? Yo, EU4 is not real. This game cannot be real, bro. There's no shot I've been playing for two hours. I was like, ah, you know, it might be like an hour into the stream. Maybe like closer to 45 minutes. Nah. Nah, there's been two hours. Oh, dude, this game is so bad. This game is so bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Pay down loans. Thought you'd go through 4K already. Oh, no, no. I paid off my loans. Uh, the loans were a bit of a panic hit. I shouldn't have taken them, but it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Uh, what I can do is go through and remove my edicts from up here to save a little bit of money. There we go. That doesn't need it. That's still stuck there, though. This one doesn't need it either. Well, good news is we will chill out um, after this war. We have to recover manpower. Get ready for the stupid Laurent War again. Ah, no, no, no. Come back down. Come back down. Come back down. I saw troops moving over here. I don't know what their sneaky little plans are. Uh, they have lost 70,000 to attrition so far. Not a good look for them. Laurent's still at war with Bjarnrik, which is super good. Like, super good. Ah, but damn, Laurent has fully recovered now. That is super sad. Super, super sad. All right. Anytime you want to let me get my sieges, that would be uh, that'd be good. Good. Anytime, anytime, anytime. Would Laurent take a transition from your land by walking over it? Uh, if, if they are sitting on a province when the month tick happens, then yes. If they're walking, I don't think so. Because there's a thing you could do. Um, if, like, you're seeing out a desert or something, if you have, like, let's say you have 2,000 troops. I think that's how it works, at least. Let's say you have 2,000 troops, and this is a desert. So we're going to take, like, a uh, attrition, right? If you're sieging this down, and you're going to go to Muntik, you're going to take attrition. You could split this in half, start to move the 1K, right? Then this 1K will take attrition, but this 1K won't, and then you can bring it back, and it saves you a little bit of manpower that way. Very micromanaging. You got to be really microing that, but it does work. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. What's the number for next menu? It's finally give or be balling those cannonballs against goblins and the serpent spine. Uh, it will be the serpent spine. We will be playing as the dwarves next. Uh, there's a loan. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Hey, am I ever going to get uh, my sieges? I got this one at least. This one would be good to grab. Here. I don't, I don't need to send that many troops on there. 1,000, what that general will do. Okay. 
57%. <sighs> Come on, game. Be kind. Be kind to me, please. It's super micro tech. Yeah, it's like super microing. I, I would never do it, but I know that you can do it. Like, it also depends on your maneuver of your generals. Like, higher maneuver. Are you serious? Uh, higher maneuver means that you don't take as much attrition. You can avoid attrition that way. And, like, all kinds of stuff you can do. Stuff that I never do. Hydrate or dehydrate. You've got it. Today's progress? Uh, pain and suffering. We have not taken any land. Well, that's not true. We took out these guys up here. Uh, we fought in the rent. In the middle of the rent, a coalition war declared on us. And then, in the middle of the coalition war, X was declared on us. And so, we took money from the rent. We took, like, 200 monies from the coalition. And now we're killing X was. Do both doors have a mission yet? No. Swamp Country just declared independence by Laurentish game. We've got to start getting rid of those guys. Uh, is it worth fighting this through? Yeah. What sort of war score can I get from battles? A lot. All right, make sure you have the goaded general, please. And you can go there. Move up to this province. <laughs> They're just going to abandon their homies. Cool. I'm fine with that. No problem. There they go. Come down here. Contest Pearl's Edge. Uh, how much work could they get from my occupations? Uh, quite a bit, actually. The blockades are giving more, though. You can kind of split you up into smaller stacks. Go take out that 1k. It's free war score. Yeah, I'll let Bjarnark through. Now that I'm not fighting the rent, that's fine. Good. Didn't reveal their capital either, which is what I was worried about. Which is what I was worried about. Okay. Uh, yep, take another one of those. You can combine together. That gets us up to 49% war score. Wait, who was on low? Pearl's Edge is on low. But they don't want to peace out. Oh, they're besieging the war. What do you mean you're besieging the war goal? There is no war goal. Why are you cheating AI? You're not besieging nothing. There is no war goal. The war goal is fight me, bro. Come on. Cowards. Near Amatech check? Uh, Amatech. No. <laughs> no. We're doing Diplo development when we meet max Diplo points. And other than that, we are uh, saving points for ideas and coring. Take the Amatech soon, though. Don't worry. There's money. That's nice. Nice. Okay, hold on. Stack wipe there. It's kind of a big deal. Kind of a little bit of a big deal. Could definitely turn this war around in a very good way. Now I can... Uh, oh, this should be another one. Oh, close. Nope, we got it. Nice. Okay. Uh, so now, are you willing to give me what I want? Close. Very close. Pearl's Edge definitely will leave now. Never mind. They're back up to medium. They're feeling better about the war, apparently. Crazy take, but all right. EU4 is a really fun game to micro. It is. I like watching people like uh, like Lambda play. If I want to see like... Aw, oh, man. If I want to see like really micro gameplay, because he does a really good job at it. It's fair. also entertaining to watch. I'm not very good at it. I don't, I don't do the micro, as you can tell, as you can tell, <laughs> I have done it before. I did a, my first World Conquest that I did was very micro heavy. I was playing on like speed two, didn't need to, didn't need to, but I did, um, cause I was really nervous I wasn't going to make it in time. And I think I got all the way to like 
18, 17 or something. Like, it was close. It was close. Mali. Mali was the last nation that I annexed in that run. We're sitting there menacingly all the time in Africa. Which other problems I had to take care of. Okay, if I can take their capital, that would be really nice. Dwarven stronghold? Sure, I don't care. Mm-hmm. More humans are gone. Really appreciate it if you let me take this capital now. Okay, maybe next time. Next tick, next tick, for sure, for sure, for sure. We're running out of manpower. Our truce with Loren is up in a couple of years. I need manpower before that fight. It's in two years. That's not good. Okay, you give me everything that I need. Thank you very much. I'll come back for land a different day. Okay, pay off that loan. Uh, go here. You need to go and teach things. Uh, we have particularists that are rising up, rising up everywhere. Where though? Around here. Okay. Walk over here to deal with them. It's fine. We go through, get rid of all of our edicts for now because they're very expensive. Don't need them right now. We'll need them in a moment though. Let me fight Laurent again. All right. No edict and no edict. Awesome. Uh, my forts are built up, so I can delete this Gwetan fort when we unseat it now. It was a little bit better of a fort line. A little bit. All right, you get that. You get the fort siege. Can my leader please die, bro? Should I stay focused on mill? Yeah, I should. I should. To finish general staff. Then we'll switch back over to admin focus. Oh, boy. All right. Then we have our truce with the rent up in uh, 1539. The rent is up to something. Yeah, they're fighting something in the new world. They're fighting to show near or whatever. You've allied Bavik, you layer an Anbin cost. Unfortunate, but okay. Hmm. How many troops is Laurent? Uh, probably nearing 100,000 now. Yeah. Charismatic Negotiator. Could be worse. Could be worse. Do you know that Jag got a unique cast his belly? Jad, very strong. Um, Do we go for a gifted academic here? Like, gaining devotion sounds really good. We're kind of low on it, but... Powerful mage confirmed. The problem is the powerful mage will have low stats like this. So our war wizard is going to be great. Like they'll be fine, but they won't be great. What did you miss? Uh, coalition war and being attacked. Charismatic sorcerer. E I don't know what the difference is between a gifted academic and a charismatic sorcerer. sorcerer. I'm assuming that means that this has more diplo points than admin points on average. Are you supposed to do the education event before you pick a new ruler? Well, here it is. Education key part of our society is need to maintain the progress of our country. It also applies to our Archmage and his successor. He's to choose a focus for our nation, which elevates the burden of our bureaucracy and maintain the policy as well as being a useful tool to teach the next Archmage. So we'll get plus one points here, I believe. <clears throat> um, go for mill. Damn. He is bad, bro. He's like straight up doo doo. Like straight up terrible. Alright. 
Well, we'll save our dude for whenever we fight the rent. Three, five, he should die before the ruler. Yeah, except we're gonna turn our ruler into a general, so that could complicate things. Could complicate things. Right, there's another general staff idea for point two yearly professionalism, which is good. We're going to need professionalism to slacken. There we go. We've won the siege of Goetten. Go ahead and delete that fort. We do not need it anymore. Four five is average pips. It is average pips. It's, it has the pips where I need them. To be fair, it has the pips where I need them. All right, we need to do some diplo development. Um. Curse Devin here. Get you up to 10. Also, this is valuable. If I full core this, Curse development, like this will eventually become Kobold. That's great. It's still Elven, I would assume. Yeah. All our trade goods are just trash. That is the problem with uh, going the path that we did, is that we don't get to change our trade goods into really good things. We just stay kind of bad. Black Clerk orders were immune to stab hit when leader dies. They are. Yeah, Lorraine has fully recovered. Oh, it's so sad. We had the opportunity to kill him. We had the opportunity. We just got kind of ru uh, ruined by that coalition war. Did I saw a drop? Now we're good. We're good. We are good. Yeah, we're making 14 ducats now. All for more reps, though. Our economy runs on Laurentish money. Okay, good. Exmas is getting cut down now. So that should eliminate that threat for now. Can you not rise up on the island every time? Like, there's got to be somewhere better for me for you to rise up. I mean, I guess we have guys over here, so it doesn't really matter, but... Can you show cultural ref? Yeah, I can in a second here. Alright, take care of you. And connect you back over here. Here's your cultural map mode. That is all kobold. Any battle mage for sack to get in the rent? Yeah. We're just really good generals, like consistently good generals, which is why I don't want to give out the Battle Mage Academies because it's not consistent. You'll waste way more mill points and army tradition than you'll ever gain from a War Wizard. Way more. Also, we're at our governing capacity. This is another reason to try and finish this. We need some national tax. Wow. Fancy. Are we hewing humies? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, so we know that Lorenz going to be able to walk through here. Oh, damn, maybe I should have taken the strip. It's too late now. Too late now. All right, what are we good at? We are Taunted in Evocation, Renowned in Transmutation. Okay. I'll take it. Any enchantment, we're Taunted. Enhancing ability is probably not worth, right? He's 46 years old. Well, no, it is worth, actually. But only for this. Because then he becomes a better war wizard. We'll give him another shock pip. Well, Dash doesn't do any spell races. Gives us development. 1454 and you get Massive Canar? I think so. I think so. I mean, if we never get them, that's great. But I know that we will at some point um, get them. We will not have a choice. <sighs> Though, we can see a large amount of them now. From them being allied to other people and whatnot. It looks like Wex is dead. Varivar also died to Crompton. 
pretty fine, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and not Elk March. Um, Frostwall. Broke those guys so we can bring these troops down south. Yeah. This is not enough manpower, unfortunately. It's going to mean this war is going to be uh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But interesting, I mean rough. Lazy missionary? Yes, I have uh, three of them actually. I guess we can go back to converting now, but the money's worth a lot more to me. Okay, there's B Pack. Got all their cores back. It's kind of unfortunate. But, oh well. They're actually not that mad at me. They will be, though. At the moment, they're not that mad at me. If we can finish General Staff, then we can get plus one to our land leader, Fire and Shock. Which is just so good. Are all uncovered problems getting heated anyways? Yes, but it will take a while. So it, it is technically faster and better to convert them. And then uh, fix your religious unity issues. It was 60%. We had like 30 something. Which is not preferable. We're going for 10,000 cannons now. They won't build before the war starts, but they'll be there not long after. Alright, so Lorenz going to instantly jump on this fort here. Is what it is. Uh, we could wait. No, we're not waiting. Kill you there. Okay. Uh, go ahead and leave some dudes there. You go get that occupied. You back up to here. And we're going to hope that Laurent sent a bunch of troops to the New World. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to get rough. Those truces are uh, in a bad spot. Very bad, bad, bad spot. You can enhance your ruler. I sure can. Thank you very much. Open ruler magic menu. Uh, but I kind of want to finish general staff. Finishing general staff better. Finishing general staff is more important to me. Is better and more important to me. Is better, is better, is better. Tradition from recruiting generals is good. Good, good, good. They killed my cannons. That's very rude. It's very, very rude. I spent a lot of money on those guys. Boom. There's general staff completed. Finishes another national idea. Uh, horde tax. Part religious tithe, part contributions to the state. To the horde tax is introduced in 1670 to formalize each kobold's contribution to the dragon cult, which had then turned into an office of the country. National tax plus 10%. Free policy. Plus one land leader fire and land leader shock. Now we just hold off on recruiting our mage general till we enhance ability, and then we we win. Yeah? We do good. We go there. Wasn't A with Laurent like 600 yesterday? Uh, it's 236. They do hate me. They do hate me. We got a wall breach over there, but there's the Siege of Ulair. Done and completed. Uh, we do have to worry about Bavik. They are up here causing problems. They won't cause problems for a while, though. They have a wall breach here we need to take care of. We kind of want all these 45,000 troops sit there. Maybe we get enough mill points by the time that we get over there that uh, we can get our war mage. Oh, they're leaving. Did you cannon siege? No, it's already... They already got it. Time to dehydrate. Oh, thank you. Yep, we'll stack like this. No 10 to 1. Rip. Uh, we can tend to one this though if we combine. Okay. There's no general here. Yeah. No general. We can't really pass that up. 
Uh, fire or shock? I think we're still... Yeah, we're still on shock. I don't think we get any, sh like, fire modifiers at all. Uh, we have 10% land fire damage, actually. I don't have a 3-5 or a 5-2. Two relations with Grumbar, I like them. No, they rivaled me. They rivaled me a while ago. They don't like me. Off of tearing, uh, everything can hate me, doesn't matter. Yep, that's a stack wipe. No? This game be cheating, bro. What? What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no stack wipe? They didn't have a general. What you mean? What you mean, bro? All right, there we go. We can finish admin ideas. That gives us admin tech cost reductions and more policies, which does include some infantry combat ability and some national unrest. Very good stuff there. Uh, we need 50 more points to get our war mage. Fifty-three days. Do I risk them getting this? I think the answer is no. What rookie numbers? I'm sorry, they've got cannons now. They've got cannons. Good news is Laurent is out of manpower. And they have uh, no professionalism. So all losses are permanent for Laurent now. I mean, obviously they can hire mercs, but. Their big stacks won't be replenishing, which is important. Am I taking... No, we're still too low. Okay. Alright, there's another conversion done. Convert those. 51. 60, 69, nice. Uh, 70, no. We're not going to be able to... Let's want to risk a 7%. Which I don't think we really do. We kind of do, actually. Yeah, we're going to wait. We're going to hope he doesn't get it. <laughs> yeah. 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 That feels right. That feels right. That, that feels right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, game. That wasn't even greed, either. Like, that's just... Uh, uh, you can't even call that greed. It is a 7% chance they were going to get it. And, uh, copium, 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 copium. <laughs> you all smell that? It smells like copium, bro. God dang it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You lair, are you ready to die yet? That's so much a... We're not doing that. I want to take a short nap and I slept for four hours. Oh, that's the worst. But also the best. <laughs> the worst, but also the best. Uh, they are sieging down a lot of things here. Sure are sieging down a, a lot of things. Was the AE high? Uh, AE is high, but also they already hate me. But there's a lot of people on that that weren't there. Like Pearl's Edge... Dame's Crown. Um, who else? If I did do this. Uh, a Crumpton. Anbin Land. Anbin Cost. Dame's Crown. Pearl's Edge. Those all would join in. I believe Arboran has dropped out of the coalition now. Uh, they'll all join back in when we take out Laurent, though. So I guess it doesn't matter. But I want to do it after we peace out with Laurent. Afterwards. Or, like, right beforehand. All right, let's approve our stats. Transmutation, enhanced ability, enhanced military. 50% chance it works. <sighs> it's going to be one of those days, huh? It's going to be... It's going to be... It's, it's going to be one of those days, apparently. All right. Make him a war wizard. No. Oh. Barely even counts as a war wizard, bro. What is that? 
Seventh shock. Seventh shock, whatever. Go contest this siege, please. You stay here. Don't engage until they're off 0%, though. Uh, do I want to risk another 7% siege? Not particularly. Seven shot for the race built around fire. Pain. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just the way that war wizards work, but, uh, uh like, we're still using the shock stuff right now. It's going to cause a lot of losses. We'll just unseed some stuff here. Okay. I would have been really mad if that happened, too. Very, very mad. A halfling's gift. Um. Yeah, sure. They're leaving. When? On the 3rd, and I will arrive on the 7th. And that means that they will not have a general. Oh, that's not Scorched anymore. That is very clearly not Scorched anymore. Well, damn. That's unfortunate. They just barrage those walls. We have more Separatists. Are there late game War Wizards anywhere? I mean, yeah, there are like... You can get War Wizards in the late game. They don't become like fire focused though, no. Which uh, I don't necessarily agree with, but I get why. Like, because you're supposed to move away from magic. Kind of the way it's intended. Okay, go in here. Take care of these guys. There we go. Good fight. Almost a stack wipe again. But we're out of manpower. Alright. How many troops do you have left? 49,000. Alright. That took forever to get my siege back that I lost on 7%. They even got wrecked by rebels? True. That does mean these are probably going to get taken by rebels, but uh, that's a later me problem. Not a current me problem. More fun ones to not die horribly. You possibly come back in the campaign. You become a lich and raise the dead. Well, if we have that opportunity, we might take it. You never know. It would be weird, but... Could go undead kobolds. I know artificer tech war wizards. Yeah, I don't know. Grombar's alive? Or Gwed's alive? Sorry. Well, they're going to hate me. They want all their land back. They're not going to get it back, but they're going to be mad about it. They're going to be very mad about it. Okay, move in here. Start occupying the rent. Start putting some economic pressure on them, too. Are we taking lands? I sure hope so. Max money. War reps. And land. Land. They're all going to hate me anyways. We'll have to fight the coalition war, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, build me two more cannons, please. But if I don't take any land, then the wretch is going to rebuild all their troops. It's not going to matter. Anyways, uh, cancel that order. We need to go and fight that wall breach. I love cannons. Did I tell you guys? So did I remember to tell you guys at the beginning of this campaign that when cannons come around, it's going to get much worse for us to do anything? Because the AI is just going to instantly breach all of our walls, which gives them a higher chance of success, which means we're not going to get as much uh, attrition damage out, which means all the kobold tactics become useless. I think I, I think I mentioned that. I think I mentioned that. There we go. It's a pretty good trait. Getting infantry combat ability there is pretty good. Go, how many you join? Seems like we have our next target. Yeah. They're guaranteed by Wyvern Heart, though. And that would reveal Wyvern Heart before I want to see them. Oh, there goes Everwarf. That's a rebel, so it's fine. Um, They're not a defense edict here. We need... What do we need? We need Small Country to pop out. Of them. Of them. Not of me. I, we need Small Country to pop out of Laurent, specifically. That would be preferable. Uh, 
Hmm. That will make our life much easier. But it's too early for that. Really? Again? I, mean, I can't blame anyone but myself, but like, come on, bro. Leave my cannon alone. He who halflings? Well, if we he who halflings, we should stop he whoing people. Like humans. Because... Are you serious? AI cheats. AI cheats, bro. It knows. It knows I'm building the cannon here. Look! It absolutely knows I'm building the cannon here. Oh, that's ridiculous. There's no way. There's no way. Build over here now. Humans first, halfling later. I mean, I feel like it should be the opposite, though. Halflings first, humans later. Like, if we're trying to really conquer all of Kanor, like, that's a lot of humans. That's a lot. <clears throat> Let's teach a gray mill. I kind of want to contest these rebels. We're gonna send these two to do it. You can get to work on North Viswell. <sighs> Run out of manpower. Run out of manpower. <clears throat> Damn, my throat is dry again today. <coughs> sick. So sick. Dying. Basically dying. Why is my one siege guy there? And not my four siege, please. He must terrorize the kobolds first. That's true. That's true. You also have the AI's building unit of problems you have vision on. That's that's fair. That's fair. But uh, they shouldn't do it to me because uh, they shouldn't. <laughs> But that's where they, they do know. You do know. <clears throat> must slack and must recruit the cats and the dogs as well. Yeah, that might be uh, that might be true. We don't need to slack him yet. Soon. Soon, though. No! Damn it. I forgot to put my boats on the other side. I mean, it's okay. They're just transports. It's not a huge deal. 78%. How far did you recording your videos? I have not recorded today's Boost Solar episode yet. That's what you're asking. I don't record them very far out. Now I can actually like, answer comments and respond to them and stuff. <laughs> Our cogs, no! <laughs> yes, the cogs are gone. It's fine. There we go. Good fight against Laurent. Again, they can't replenish those losses. <sighs> Neither can we, to be fair, though. <laughs> so uh, maybe I shouldn't be talking too much trash. Like, haha, yeah, you can't replace those losses. Like, yeah, no, neither can we. Neither can we. Do we these stack wipes? No, max out our war score from battles. Do that, he knows about subsidies for positive bonus relations. Yes. <laughs> For moments like that. True, true, true. True, true, true. Okay, what about our slacking? We can slack him. We can. I don't think we need to. I think we're going to recover enough in time. Because we recover a lot of manpower a month. Uh, but I don't want to if we don't have to. Because, I mean, there are benefits to having professionalism. Shock damage. Siege ability. Land fire damage. All very good things. So if we can try and hold on to it for as long as possible, it'd be great. <clears throat> Runs on you guys here. You guys can go and unsiege all of this stuff over in this direction. This doesn't really matter because we're about to go into the next age in 35 months. Hopefully we can get this war done before then. Um, then we're going to want to try and get up to the war score cost reductions, and then we're going to want to just try and annex people as fast as possible, I think. Um, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> I had a plan for, like, the beginning of the game. The plan worked. I don't have a plan now. I'm out of plans. So, we're kind of just 
Uh, uh, improvising. Was not expecting an early coalition war. Was expecting a late coalition war, but not an early one. Once they exit faster, they can join coalitions. True. True, true, true. Right, there we go. Now we're actually making progress into taking Laurentius territory. It has been a while since we were able to loot the Laurentish to the ground, which is super good. Super, super good. For us, not for them. For us. We, uh, we need the money. Basically, it's time. Are we going to finish our mission tree first, or are we going to be destroyed by a coalition? Well, mission tree has us take all of this and then all of the Atlantic Reach as well. You basically kill Laurent and go ahead. Um, but I want to own all of Canada. Like, all of it. Like, all of it. To the deep woods. I don't know if we'll get there. Uh, there is a pretty good chance we will die to coalitions. Is this the best person to take over all of Canada with? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But it's fun. It's the funny. Right, good riddance. We gotta go contest that siege here momentarily. I'll send you two over to do that. How are allies feeling? Anbin Cost is thinking about leaving. It's great. To the deep woods, are you nuts? I said. What what does the stream title say? What does the stream title say? It says Kobolds take Kanor. <clears throat> Kobolds take Kanor. The Deep Woods is on the Kanorian continent. Therefore, we must own the Deep Woods. Unless the Great Conqueror, like Phoenix Empire, takes it, then, uh, you know, I think I'm willing to change the, the stream title. But, but if that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen. All the way. Turns out supremacy is rather good for boosting your race. You're not going to be fighting your own race, at least in the MP mod. Yeah, it gives you more manpower and stuff. I don't really want to fight those guys. It's not going to give me anything. It's like their entire army, too. So let's keep track of them. They're broken. This is good. This is good for us, I guess. Where's this fort? It's right here. Okay. Unless you're willing to give me 99% war score, which, yeah, I know you're not. Then the answer is no, Laurent. We will not have peace. No peace in our time. No peace in our time. Go here. You walk to here. Their defense is pretty bad. Okay. Ah, they're not broken anymore. Cheaters. I mean, sneaky. Map out to reveal? I think so. Uh, which is why I'm really trying to rush to get this war done. Because I would like to get at least one last big peace deal done before we start to really run into problems. Preferably. There we go. Hopefully it's a stack wipe. It's not, but that's okay. All right, make our way to Lorenz capital, and that should hopefully do it. Uh, tech, Diplotech, that's fine. Hey, why aren't you moving? What do you mean, no? Oh, we have to take this first. That's the tragedy. Ooh! Implementation of new techniques successful. With our innovative general staff. Five professionalism, ten army and navy tradition. This is so busted, dude. It's so good. How do you choose anything but general staff ideas? I do not know. I do not know. I want a general, though. Who wants a general? Actually, don't, 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 don't. Someone already asked from earlier. Uh, Chris, you got one. All right. This is a, this is a 100 tradition, full general staff, general. So it begins. Yes. Yes. A6653. Six, six, General staff is very balanced and very good. And very balanced. And very, very balanced. Uh, Ran, I'll also grab yours just because I know your name's right here. Uh, because it makes it easier for me. I was hoping you have more siege pips, but that's okay. But that's okay. So we have a four siege general. 
We have a 6-6 six, six combat general as well. Um, yeah, which is very good. <clears throat> that looks like a hundred edition general. It looks like a... Do you guys hear that? Did you hear that weird sound? Did you hear that weird sound? They went like... Did you hear that? Or am I going crazy? No, it's just me. Never mind. Ignore it. There's no weird sounds in my room. There's definitely my room is definitely my place isn't haunted. Don't worry about it. Uh, Irish Ranger, thank you for the four months. Appreciate it. Missed the last couple of streams. How painful has Kobold's been? Yesterday, no pain at all. Today, average Kobold pain. Average Kobold pain. But yesterday went really, really well. Really, really well. Today though, average Kobold pain. Laurent has lost uh, 220,000 troops for this war. Which is pretty good, I guess. For us. Don't worry, pal. You're not the only one losing it. No, I'm not actually crazy. There is like a weird... Uh... Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's super bad. That's super bad. That we don't have next mil tech. Um, there's like a weird like metallic metallic like green sound. That it, it's not like consistent, but it happens semi often. Um, I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Maybe we're supposed to spawn colonialism. Nah, we'll we'll catch up here in a moment. We'll catch up here in a moment. Don't you worry. You know, Siege of Laurentine is done. Still say no, though. It's fine. You will accept. I'm going to negative one. There we go. All right, so we take max money, we take all this land, and then we go fight the coalition, yeah? <clears throat> no, we don't take this. We don't want to go overextended. Overextended? Bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. Because if we get stuck in a war and then they occupy the stuff, then, yeah, we're like super screwed. We're like super, super screwed. Okay, embrace institution. Uh, take away reduced research regulations. Now we take Diplotech for much cheaper. Here we go. I'd love to do the same thing for admin tech, but uh, not going to be allowed. We have to core things up first. Is it cause overextension, please? Oh, didn't mean to click that one. It's okay. We'll take admin tech here momentarily. <clears throat> there we go. Maybe it's the cube that does speak some nonsense. That's true. Maybe it is the cube speaking to me. Okay, you need to go over here. Good rinse. Okay, this fort can be deleted. That's good, that's good, that. Okay. Oh! We did it. We did it. Kind of. We have a fort line. We have a fort line. This is a bit of a gap here, but uh, actually they could just walk all empty. We don't have a fort line. We have a better fort line. Once we own uh, Barrowshire in the next Laurent War, then we'll have a good fort line around here. Um, small country win? Never. Never. The answer is never. There will never be a small country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your leaders always praise you. That's why they're so good. Okay, good to know that I shouldn't recruit them anymore. Thank you for letting me know that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Exus, go away. Rook your embargo. I feel like we should just insta deck on Goed, right? Glad you all agree. Okay, you're going to go deal with that fort. You're going to go deal with Goed. 
Because, like, this coalition is going to fire, but at least we can take out Gawed before they join. No way, dude! Oh! Uh... Bro, I hate this event so much. We're not even going to get cores on it either. I don't know if there's any way to avoid it. Cancel first. It doesn't matter. It'll still form. It'll still pop off. Do campaign time? No, no, no. At least in Appleton? No, because then if small country farms from then, then them, then my vassal will join the AI. I think we just have to fight him. Well, you only have more than five provinces. Uh, I don't know how it works for the AI. So, what are they going to get exactly? Jesus. Um, he who type no he who is what's causing it, but it won't stop either. Like it's gonna happen either way. No, I'm debating if I want to delete the forts or not. Debating if I want to delete the forts or not. Cancel course. Yes, I will cancel the course. How's that attack? It's a little bit behind, but it's not too bad. We can rebuild forts. We can rebuild forts. Oh, dude, it sucks. But hey, it is what it is, right? Is what it is. No reason to cope about it. They're going to rebel. So delete the forts. Cancel the cores. And uh, take admin tech, I guess. Nope, we can't take Ammon Tauk. Next idea group should probably be a Diplo one. Espionage? Society? Propaganda? Monstrous. No, we don't need Monstrous. Well, actually, if we take monstrous ideas we can raid coasts which is pretty good because we should be seeing the rest of Kanor here pretty soon we're in the, some of the richest regions of the game Is the rest of it worth it, though? Like, more loot's fine, I guess. Idea cost. Uh, we're not taking Major Crack. We're not taking it. It's, it's not great. It's not great. Uh, the other option, I think, would be espionage. For the spy network construction and the siege ability 
and the advisor cost and all that. It's just really good. We can raid the Dame's Head, so I'm I'm pretty sure that Monstrous is actually the play here, weirdly enough. It'll take us a while to get to the raid coast, but let's do it. Are Imperialism ideas any good? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Procedure decay, CB to vassalize neighbors for less than 150 development. Uh, you could have another domain, more naval force limit, corporation cost, land force limit, uh, national tax, government capacity. It's a pretty solid idea group. Pretty solid idea group. Uh, how do I like homebrew? I like homebrew a lot. That has a lot of variety. I don't like how much everything costs, but that just kind of comes with it. So, got to get over it. All right, so you all are going to go get Gawed. You're going to go down south. Then we're going to fight the coalition. Come on, slacking once. Realism is better admin ideas? Mm, no. No, I disagree. Admin ideas are goaded in homebrew. Core creation cost? Like, uh, two ducats a month? Um, devastation reduction? Growing capacity? Admin tech cost? More advisors? Interest per annum? It's very good. Any policy with monstrous? Oh, I mean, there are policies. I don't know if they're any good. <clears throat> You're the professionalist. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You're the professionalism's kind of goaded. Okay, go stand up here. All right, there's Siege of Wolfden. Take you out. Should be good. All time you change too? Yeah. Soren Cost declares independence on Laurent. Beautiful. Okay, go get that on Siege, please. Uh, go ahead and get these cord up, though. Beautiful. Vanilla Adam is like two goodies of rest trash. Yeah, but aren't they redoing it in the next update? They're making it, like, better. And useful. And good. And not Merc-related. Since they're adding mercenary ideas. For whatever reason. Sure, you get access. Who are you at war with? Oh! Huh. Lorenz at war with all of their subjects. Nice. <clears throat> that is very, very good for us. If Lorenz loses all their subjects, it makes my life way easier. Well, I'm not too worried about those rebels. Because they're going to get half linified here momentarily. Yep, and then we're going to have to fight this coalition. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Half leads revolt. We're not clicking that yet. Wait, is there any way for me to... Is there any way, any way, to prevent me... To prevent them... To rising up? And forming the small country? Like, is there any way to stop that? No. The answer is no. Alright, boys. Get in there and get as much occupied immediately as we can. Oh, we didn't need to delete this fort. Rip. Oh well. It's fine. Did you take E for taking your land back? Oh yeah. Oh yes you do. <laughs> Which is the worst part. It is just absolutely the worst part. And since I didn't full core a lot of this, it's going to be not core. And there's a coalition war too. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> here we go. 
Coalition War. And uh, Small Country Revolt at the same time. They've got almost 200,000 troops in the Coalition War. There right, we go. Let's get it done. All right, you need to go and contest those 8,000 troops, please. You need to go over here. You need to go into Elkwood, please. It's time for... It's time, it's time to sweat, boys. It's time to go hard. It's time to go try hard. <clears throat> time to go a little bit hard here. All right? Uh, defensive Edict goes on there. Defensive Edict goes on there. Defensive Edict goes on here as well. Already on. Perfect. We do have people down here we have to fight, which is unfortunate. Has anyone joined the small country yet? No, they have not. Good. These troops are dead. Uh, actually, no. We, we can test that. <clears throat> we have no forts down here, remember? So, it's an important thing to keep track of. Okay, there goes some Maldor's troops. Uh, do we need to take that Selmaldor fort? I don't think we do. It'll be a while till they build back up to Fort Summit to contest that siege. Uh, can you go here, please? Thank you. You're gonna go there. Move over here. Split. 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 It is risky, because BPEC is in this war. But we're gonna have to risk it. And then small country, I would like all of my land back, please. You son of a biscuit. I was gonna say something else, but I'm gonna be very friendly. <laughs> I hate this disaster so much. The fact that you don't even get, like, full cores on it, even after they revolt away from you. Like, I know it's because they weren't full stated for me, but, like, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Like, they're literally breaking away from us. What if he's taking with Monstrous? Uh, it's an anti... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We might as well just take it. <clears throat> Is it the same PCO as the dwarves have? Uh, no. No. You don't win. You can't, uh, you can't, like, fully annex it back. But well, the human. It's probably an insult in Cobalt Slaying. That's true. Probably. Probably. Let's hit these 5k. Go hit these 8k, actually, instead. Our stacks are a little isolated right now. There we go. Uh, we have a mage ruler in charge, right? Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. We do. All right. Uh, evocation. More magic. Enchantment. Uh, military. More morale. Very good. Uh, can the elves in the deep woods also open the portal to the other side of the world? No. They are not. They are, they cannot. It's only a one-way thing. Only Orden can open it to the deep woods. <laughs> can Kobolds procreate with other species? Usually, no. Usually, no. I don't really want to send this stack in alone. I don't really want to leave this stack alone, though. Okay, cool. Right, so there is no peace deal, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. Like, uh, I don't get like a special peace deal here where I could take everything. Like, I, that's it, right? Uh, what's the cool sand that you're going for? Uh, we're trying to conquer Kanor. Like the whole thing. I don't know if we're gonna get there, but we're gonna try. Then so another one's gonna get a special peace deal. Take everything. No. Which makes me think they don't have it here. Uh, we don't have enough admin to go overextended. So I guess we just take this. Nothing under the... No, there's there's no special peace deal. You just... L. <laughs> L. Take your L and walk away. Take your L. Take your money. Walk away. Recore your land that you already had. Okay, we are at 103% overextension. Well, that's gonna suck. 
No, they were made of vassal. No. They are independent. They are independent. You're both going to move in here. Monstrous Conquest against Regeria. Okay. Big Urbixton. <clears> hey, <throat> okay. there goes Arboran's troops. Beautiful stack wipe there. Alright, you go fight BPEC now. You need a general of some kind. Just chilling. Get rid of half lanes. Uh, B pack. No, I was gonna siege B pack out, or at least like try to siege him down, but I don't think it's worth it. You have to keep in mind that that's occupied by a rebel. Not my problem right now. I've got much bigger issues, but we'll have to do it. They asked for it was an independence war via disaster. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's bring you up and around. Go hit him hard here. It's forest. We should get the stack wipe here. This is a big prestige. Not helpful for that. There we go. More troops dead. Go after those. 50 prestige gone in a matter of two months? Really? Really? Come on. Come on. You don't have to do that. You could not be mean. It is possible. It is possible. All right, let's grab you. <clears throat> Walk you back. We're at 20% war score. All right, there we go. We need to go deal with these great marcher rebels. <laughs> okay, they do have sieging down on Vertesk. Hey, look at that, I found my rebels. Unbelievers, yeah, they can have cores, I don't care. A lot of people have cores on me. It's fine. Not much they can do about it. Sweep in here before they get a morale tick. Ah, they got it. That's alright. Should still win. Yep. Uh, who declared this war? Dame's Crown did. Okay. Go ahead and build a spy network on them. For siege ability. For any forts that get handed over to them. Uh, you're going to come deal with these troops. Right here. 7,000 manpower. Actually, we have no manpower to speak of because it is all gone. Look at that. All my half land. I'm trying to core up desperately, getting sieged down. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Okay, you come to here. You go to the East Salt March. Uh, they're out here fighting my rebels. That's fine. You need to get all of this unseized so we can actually core it up. Otherwise, we're going to have a very bad day. Uh, Laurent is dying right now, so low chance to attack small country. Yeah, I'm not worried about Laurent attacking small country. It's just annoying that I lost all the land after I already gained it. And then, like, I have to take AE for it again, but it's whatever. Part of the world. Part of the world of EU4. All right, you go there, and you go there, you go there. We we really, really, really need to take mill tech. Uh, turn war taxes off. Oh, really? Annoying. There we go. Uh, you don't need this many troops. Back off. Take the strip. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, okay, so that's all taken care of there. Idea? <laughs> yep, let's start going to monstrous ideas. Cool. Get that unseaged. What are they doing up here? They're sieging down some forts. Alright, that's fine. They've already lost 166,000 people in this war. Hope it was worth it. They do have a wall breach over here. Now we have North Vizwaller Separatists. 
Bro, these Vizwalls are all the same. North Vizwall, South Vizwall, just Vizwall. Just give me Vizwall Separatists, please. All right, go take care of those guys. <laughs> uh, hey, Calvin. Is Kobolds' baby troll? Um... Bro, let me unseize my promises! Uh, it's just one one siege, my promises. Can we dodge this disaster if we vassalize Vizwal and give them land? Technically, yes, I think. But, like, then we'd have a vassal that would hate us forever. Because we're never demonstrizing. And we're... I mean, we wouldn't get rid of halflings, I guess, in that scenario, but... Still. It's just delaying the problem. Yeah, I mean, it's delaying the problem. Oh, boy! Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Who brought you into the war? Who, who brought you into the war? Joel. <laughs> He's allied to Dame's crown. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh, laughs> why? Why, 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 why? Oh, this is going to hurt. We have to win the battle, though. But, like, no way, bro. That we... They're tech 12, aren't they? Yeah. Probably throw. No, I wouldn't say I threw this one. It's also not over yet. Like, we can still win. It's just going to be very expensive to win. It's going to be very, very, very expensive to win. And we have to abandon that. Uh, go ahead and full consolidate here. Okay, small country rebels. It is what it is. Fight them on their way up. No more slacking? No more slacking. We got 40,000 troops to do this. I need to take out, relieve these sieges, and then I need to run down, uh, somehow find a way to get on top of Dame's Crown's capital, take it, and then peace them out. That is the plan. Take a detour. Mm, no, don't take a detour. We ran out of time. We are running out of time to make all this work. There we go. Stack wipe those troops. Don't get this on a 42, please, 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 don't get it on a 42%. I beg of you, don't do it, don't do it. Thank you. All right, we kill those troops. We go to you, we go to here, and then we go to here. Let's go, boys. Anybody want out? No. The Magisterium is the only person that got called in. Ugh. Vassan wants to give us a loan. No. Was there something else? My Omdurin, I had my 17 on rest, so basically counter separatism. That sounds very nice. Good for you. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't have separatism. I wish I didn't have separatism. I mean, we actually have decent tolerance to a true faith. We have six. Unfortunately, not everybody follows the dragon cult, though. Good news is, though, Lorentz's dead. Um, so I guess we're somewhat successful. Maybe not in the way we were hoping, but we did, you know, Lorentz's dead. It's got to count for something, right? General Foyo is dead, too. Okay, there's Tech 12. We need to get out of this war, though. Um, we probably want to go Scions here, right? I don't know. Then we don't have any morale pips. That's a tough decision. Memory is fifteen ninety four. Okay, thank you. Uh, Reefy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Lorenz, right, do you truly want to fight the Empire? I mean, no, not really. But like, I don't think we're going to be given a choice in the matter. 
Will you accept a short piece? No. Not even close, which makes me a little nervous about this siege in particular. No, we've got to make a dive for Dave Scout's capital. Cast the siege magic. Shape change into a giant. Go shape change. Let's finish this. Minus 75% defensiveness. Wait, can I stack it? Is that what that is? Why would I not? Why would I click this? Oh, there's a 30% chance I just get it. Okay, well, we're going to click the button. Okay, there. No! We were at 51 for just a second! Ugh. Okay, Siege Magic again. Giant, shape change, finish it. Nice, we got the 30%. No way we can't go to the capital here. Oh, God damn, Aramari Temple's blocking it. That's fine. That's a five year truce. We need to upgrade our troops. I need a little bit more manpower. And we can also split this coalition up. I can attack Sal Maldor, right? So I think we just white piece here. We take the five year piece and we just find him again, five years. All right, upgrade our troops. Oh boy, I don't know which one to choose. Do we just, well, we should probably just stop, just focus on doing shock damage, right? Like we have really goaded generals. So we should really just go for them. Less morale is a little sus though. But it's fine. We need to do damage. Read the description. Okay. Uh, scions. Said to possess the blood of dragons, or at the very least their spirit, kobold scions were the bravest, strongest, and smartest kobolds. For a short time, these apex kobolds dominated the military to protect a faltering homeland. All right, so we'll get scions. Um, rival Arboran. Magisterium, I guess. Small country has not allied anyone yet. Okay, get that. Still losing a bunch of money, though. Most case, we're running out corruption from overextension. So we're not able to core everything in that war. All the way over here, please. <sighs> okay. Well, that's technically another coalition we're beat. We're doing better than the rent, so that's a W. That's a lot of particulars. We're going to have to wait for those particulars to come over to land. Should probably try and rebuild our light ship fleet at some point, or our transport fleet. Let's go deal with them. This would be an event. If you win against a small country, you automatically annex them. I agree. I agree. If I get rid of all my rebels, I could sell titles for a bunch of money to rebuild a lot of stuff that we need to rebuild. Damn, we had like a hundred thousand of these dudes rise up. Okay, like seventy thousand, but still. It feels like a hundred thousand. Feels like a hundred thousand. All right, you go deal with this. Then we have to go deal with these guys. Hopefully that holds long enough. Uh, we can get rid of our edicts for now. 
on these front ones. <laughs> you need 100%. No, I, I promise you, there, I really don't think there is a uh, an event that you get for, for annexing them. I've I've gone through the halfling small country revolt many times, many times. I was had to recore everything up. If it's not like full stated, obviously it's full stated. Then you get cores back, yes. But then you run into the same problem that you run into in base game, where it's not a reconquest war for you, so it's super expensive to take anything in the revolt war, which kind of sucks. If Solar wants access, sure. Okay, you're going to walk there. Them out. Captain down. All right, can we get here? Stop that. Conflicts rising in the city. I will take loyalty from... I'll take base production. Thank you. <laughs> Agent was discovered. Okay. Let's go land you there. There's a much better way of doing this. Attach. <laughs> Land. Walk over. Much faster. Did they have a lot more depth MP mod than I thought there was? Did you know the goblins get 20% natural manpower enforcement while at war with dwarves? I did. I did know that. Uh, yeah, like, we fight better against dwarves. They also fight better against goblins. Uh, goblins fight better against elves and dwarves. Elves and dwarves fight worse for goblin militaries, even if you're not monstrous. They fight worse for you. I don't know exactly what that equates to, but they fight worse. Um, also, Lorentz like super, super dead. Yeah, there are a lot of things to that mod. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. Yep, Lorentz bankrupt. Beautiful. It means they're gonna take lots of loans and give us lots of money from our war reps. I always get plus five discipline versus dwarves. Oof. Oof. Man, if I had more money, I would build ramparts. Okay. Uh, everyone come back to here. We're going to drill. Two elves need any buffs? Apparently, they need more. Apparently, they need more. How's governing cap? We're getting somewhat close to it, but we're doing fine. Uh, but we do have admin tech that we do need to take. So we're not in a position to to just mask up a bunch of stuff yet. Yeah, so we're just going to make money here. Uh, we're actually making mostly money just from us. Huh. We're actually just making 21.58 ducats a month. Well, we did have to delete a lot of troops, I guess. To be fair. Uh, let's build up 20,000 troops right now. That way, like, Xmas doesn't declare war on me again. Oh, I lost a bunch of cannons. That would also do it. That would also do it. Actually, prosperous country. Actually huge. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Uh, ooh, air. Okay. So our really bad air died. So do we go for points or do we go for mage? I think we go for points because we have really good generals on our own. And odds are the mage will be bad. Lost of force as well. True. Is there a reason to use artificers without inventions? No. This costs more. Well, yeah, but it's not worth it. 662. That I will take. Mage? 10% chance? 10% a chance. We'll need that too. All right. We're chill. We're chilling. We're fine. Everything's fine. Sure, there'll be another coalition war soon, but it's fine. At least we're not Laurent, right? What's our truce with Laurent there, by the way? Uh, 1559. 10 more years. <laughs> Growth of the printing press. 
All right. How fast does it spread down here? It doesn't. Well, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, all of you will drill. Is there anywhere better to put this army? Yeah. Drill here. And you all can drill here. Cool. When are we going to full core states? <laughs> Never. All right, am I good to sell titles now? Yes. Which means that then we should be able to take, uh, okay, tech really soon. You go there. Let's get our forts back up and running. So we're going to have a fort in North Visual. In Barrowshire. In Appleton. Whatever that is. And Perdco build. So we build fort here. We build fort here. <laughs> we gotta take that off the halflings. And we take Avantech. I wanna get to uh Avantech 12. I want government capacity and I want another idea group. We we need another mill idea group. Something that's gonna really put oomph into our troops. We could go for like quantity or something to get more mid power recovery speed, but I'd rather just do more damage. Uh, offensive would be a good choice. Offensive would be a good choice. It's still too early for fire damage. Though we will take fire damage for sure. Uh, conscription would be a good choice for more troops. Uh, we're losing the ammo points there. Standing army. We could go standing army. Less uh, land force limit, but I'm not using all my land force limit right now anyways. This doesn't matter all that much. Weapon quality, weapon quality is good. Weapon quality is good. Powerful mage, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and go and cast... Uh, improve relations for our diplomat. That will make our aggressive expansion drop faster, which probably won't help, but if it does help, it will be a very big deal. Be a very, very, very big deal if it does help. Well, they haven't allied anyone yet. Ten years so we can go kill the halflings. Sell Maldor. Oh, it's guaranteed, guaranteed by Bjarnrick again. Please, no. Oh, it doesn't look like Bjarnrick's that strong, but still. Swiss trade to improve relations. I'd rather make money. To be honest with you. Uh, we could definitely revoke our trader from here, though. That trader ain't doing nothing. Collect here. And then transfer here. into this province. We'll see how much we collect. Go from 24 to... 27. Nice. Uh, if I state this... Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Click more trade power here. Grombar dead? Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> Dark scale still alive. The homies. The homies are doing good. They're tech seven. They have 2,000 troops, but they're alive. They're warned by Omdir. Not good. Not good for their health, but that's okay. <laughs> Full core trade centers? Yes, we will get around to that. Which is that? 24? Okay. 
So only that brings in some more money here. You are kobold, you are kobold, and you are kobold. How's our culture map looking? It's looking pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I can revoke land again in 55. Okay. <clears throat> so you think you flee to you once they die. <laughs> True. True. We will accept in the dark scales. Our brethren in the mountains. They can leave the mountains and come to our mountains. Holy perch? What do you mean? <clears throat> That's not gonna happen. Uh, take that. Power protection from insults. Uh, what about Crucible? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Right, kobold junk ships. Historically, the survival of the gnomish peoples on islands like Nimskod was due to the fact that kobolds loathed water and never had a proper navy. Until now. Under the command of junkyard owner Shizak Alexa, Kobold Zan commissioned its first navy in 1734, which was all made of metal junk. The very same navy ended up circumnavigating the entire world in 1747. Minus 10% naval maintenance modifier. That is not canon, but cool. But definitely not canon. Definitely not canon. Hey. Okay, so we've just replaced one Laurent with another Laurent. Cool. Good to know. Uh, who's circumnavigating cannon? I can't remember. Kobolds were wiped out long before 1700? No, actually. Um, the kobolds do lose this outside land to the gnomes, but the kobolds have a uh, country inside the caves here. They invent terrorism. Fun fact. That's not that's not a meme, by the way. They they actually they actually do the terrorism first. Pretty on brand for kobolds. Pretty on brand. It worked tomorrow early, so I'm off to bed. All right, Brian, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good one. And then tomorrow, and then the next day, goblins, real goblin hours. trying to see if there's anywhere else I should build forts. There is. I mean, there is. It's right here. Arboran owns the province I want. Because if I can build a fort in Arboran, then I can build a fort Mossford, Arca Purvar, and Vertesk, and then we have a fort line here. If you don't quite see what I'm doing yet, I am trying to build our borders out before all of Kanor can see us to have a as short of a fort line as possible in the least amount of places possible to build like staggering forts and then we just deal with the coalition wars and then we just truce break our way to victory hopefully maybe I'm not sure if we can actually truce break uh, but we'll see we'll see but we have to have a very secure, solid frontline wall. We have to. Or otherwise, it won't work. Our biggest threat is going to be the entrance from Pearl's Edge and the entrance from the Magisterium. If I can really start going at these coastal stuff, start stating up coastlines, and build a proper navy, a good, solid, heavy ship navy, then if we can control these two straits, that means that we only have one front. Which is this one. That's what we need. We need one front. But that does mean I have to get down here and take a bunch of land first. Which is uh, much easier said than done. <laughs> Make Cobalt Sand great again. True. True, true, true. It's quirked up scaly boys with a little bit of loot. Busting it down dragon style. Is it possible they are goaded with the sauce? They are in fact goaded with the sauce. We have any great conquerors uh, other than us? No, I do not. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a big Eberthil. There you go. Yep, great conqueror there. Looks like they've eaten Busalar. 
Uh, Rogeria's not one. Urbexton might be. I don't really want to click on them because I don't want to see their capital. Uh, but that's probably the only one else that I would think of that we can see right now. Maybe Dame's Crown? No. Fierce Negotiator, though. Oh, my God. We cannot let them declare the Coalition War. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I will uninstall this game if I get declared upon by a Coalition leader that's a Fierce Negotiator. No way. No way. That should be illegal. That should be straight up illegal. Not allowed. Declare the coalitions first. That's the plan. But Bjarnrik is guaranteeing here, and I'd rather not fight Bjarnrik. I guess there's also Bavik. No, it's just Bavik. I like the rent. Hmm. Get that inflation guy. Start getting this down again. Uh, I really like when you full annex country, but not full annex plus max money. True. True. It's like, yeah, we're going to die, but we're not giving you our money. No way. All right. Uh, Istralor, we can't see. It's kind of unfortunate. But declare war on BPEC. Istralor will join. If I declare war on you, Lair. Istralor will join. If I declare war on Vertesk, Istralor will join. If I declare war on the Dame's Crown, somehow, Istralor would join. What about Arbor? I'm looking for Istralor's rivals. Do I attack into the Empire now? I don't hear you say, hear me out so much to stream for you. Early game couples run in the mid game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Listen, listen, listen. What about this? What about this? Uh, we kill him. Isn't attacking on your terms better? Yes. Dismantle EOA easy? <laughs> Not really, because I have to siege everybody's capitals down. I can't ally any of them. Which makes it significantly harder. It's not as easy as just like, oh yeah, I'm going to ally everybody and then go siege down the Emperor. I got to make everybody join this war. And I don't even know who Isralor is allied to. Or rival to. Or anything. I know nothing about the Emperor. Is Religious League War fired already? No, we just got into the Age of Unraveling. <laughs> Rather recently, but Cornite is spreading. Uh, Hatch, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. It'd be interesting if it's a great country with a bunch of other great people. Great reformers, great administrator, great trader, great them that. They would goat the nation in different ways. Like a supervisor, kind of? That can randomly show up? Uh, well, Mousing, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. That's true. We could wait for the Religious League. But we're going to get attacked by Coalition here if I unpause. Like, it's going to happen. I need to start eliminating tags. Question is, who do I let join the Coalition? Or who do I risk joining the Coalition here? Who joins first? Crompton. Okay. It's fine. Dame's crown. That's two. I really want Vertesk to join. So, Maldor. Okay. So, at any point, we can now declare it. We're going to. We'll see if the Coalition actually fires now. They'll definitely join. I don't know if they'll fire. We'll see. I was hoping to get Vertesk in there as well with Selmaldor, but... Beggars can't be choosers. 
Once Sel Maldor joined, we couldn't risk uh, anyone else joining. Yeah, so our big problem here isn't going to be Sel Maldor. It's going to be Bjarnric. <laughs> Though, they're kind of smashing him right now. Oh, I forgot to uh, do our war magic and our military magic. Okay. Uh, so you don't need this many troops on there. You can go here. These 20,000, I guess you can go look for like small stacks like you lair and go fight them. Uh, we're definitely taking all of Sel Maldor's land in this war. Not sure what else we're going to do though. We'll see. Uh, they've got too many cannons now for our level 2 forts, unfortunately. I'm going to start busting through them real quick. Luckily, we've got goaded generals. Do we fight this 35k with this 20k? I think we do. I know it doesn't seem great, but... Uh, maybe we can get these 12k down here? I don't have anyone super fast is the problem. How many defenders do we have? 1,800? They got cannons though, right? They do not have a full front line either. No greed? Oh, it's not greeting. It's just, I can't let them take that fort. We're gonna risk the 28. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> they start with 320 guys in there. <clears throat> That's okay. Go down here. We'll get it back when we get our cannons back. We'll get it back. X was enters the coalition. They've been cut down, but they are a bold fighter, so they could decide to declare that war still. Actually, don't seize down Ulair. That's free war score when they're building like those 1k troops. Can we walk through this fort? No. We cannot. We cannot. You see, they're going to instantly start barraging things now with, uh, with all the cannons. Prisoners of War. Slate? Whoa, what is this? I've never seen this event. Uh, Grizzle Loops. It'd be difficult to acquire good slaves. Some are too weak. Others die of disease. They more simply escape a captivity. The country's state of war, however, has led to an opportunity to collect prisoners of war and sell them off as slave labor. As former soldiers, these prisoners are strong, resilient, and is of higher stock. Should we endorse this development, we can expand our networks of slavers and buyers. Sounds like a theocracy to me. All right. Evil kobolds. Really, dude? <sighs> Sorry, there's a hundred guys there. It's two siege sticks. Not the end of the world. Guys, the Danish army. Oh, uh, trust me, I, 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 I recognize that. I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> We're fine. I mean, that's most of the troops right there. Like, that's almost the entirety of their coalition war. Alright, so we get this siege now. Because if there are less than 100 defenders, you automatically get the siege. Our Crompton hired a bunch of troops from Conwell. This woods is forest, but I don't care. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, so that takes care of those cannons at the very least. Uh, we can annex Durwing in this war as well. I don't, I don't think we should be being kind in these peace deals. I think we should be more aggressive like we were in the beginning. High risk, high reward, but high reward. High reward sound good. Ooh, that is the end of our golden age, though. That's sad. 
It's very sad. Gonna miss that 10% all power cost, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, gonna miss that. Gonna seize down you lair here. You think we have max, almost max score, score from battles? Yeah, 34. <laughs> that power's but another article of commodity. <laughs> oh, there's all the, yep. Nope. Five, four, three, inspirational leader. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Get out of here, Conwell. You aren't needed. Actually, you know what? Bring these troops down here. We're going to stack wipe them. We've got time. You need to go and relieve the siege up there for Sel Maldor. General Hospital, yes, I will take manpower recovery speed and national manpower. Thank you very much. That is exactly what we're looking for. Battle is on the first. Okay, let's start moving in. Not a stack wipe, but it should kick him out here for a while. All right, you need to go relieve that. You can go over here. Actually, switch that up. You go here. You go relieve here. Now we can use our cannons to unsiege our fort. All right. Uh, that's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Ah, uh, we won. Take a detour, though. I probably should have reinforced anyways. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Take care of those things, ground troops. All right, then they'll head north. Okay. They backed off. I could separate piece out Bjarnrik. Remember that. And Ulair. And Derwing. Hmm. Man, I'm still all congested. Still all congested. Can I vassalize Dame's crown from this? Why would I vassalize Dame's crown? Not a sarcastic question. Just wondering what your uh, what your region on it is that because they hate me. Um, I'm purging the race. I'm monstrous. Uh, they have aggressive expansion. I'm doing covert actions. I'm not sure what them as a vassal would do for me. Also, they're tech 13, and I am not. I don't think vassalizing them is quite within our, our game plan here. I don't think it's the the play. Vassalize, become emperor. Do you know, when you put it like that, it's not the worst idea to vassalize the electors. They may not like me, but I don't care. Maybe we do do that. I mean, we can't uh, vassalize Dame's Crown right now. They're too big. But we may look forward to that. <clears throat> Fifty fifty four seven conquer Kenner. You're slacking. I know. I know. I'm slacking. We'll do, we'll do better next time. This is just the practice run. Yeah, that's what it is. This is just the practice run. Clearly. All right, so go ahead and take that Miltech, upgrade our cannons to large cast iron. Very good. <clears throat> and we got all of you down here. Let's go say hello. We can separate piece out Ulair in this war and annex them, so let's go make sure we occupy them as well, but I want to catch these troops first. Make sure they are taken out. There we go, we got Vertesk back. Go ahead and move in for Derwing. Just kidding. Do not go for Derwing. I repeat, do not go for Derwing. I see a stack of uh, Conwell troops that are mostly cannons, and I see a stack that's barraged my capital. No, my capital. My fort. No, if people are touching our capital, we are in big trouble. We like it's already GGs at that point. You know, there's a secret releasable nation Ambar where you conquer everything within 75 years. Really? Uh, what's it called? I'd, I'd love to know the name of this so-called secret nation that you can release if you conquer all of Kenar in 75 years. 
Uh, based on Laurent looks, they say I missed a lot in the last hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. We beat them up, and then they got obliterated by all of their neighbors. Um, we fought, what, two coalition wars? Uh, we got declared upon by Exwis. Uh, we haven't taken a lot of land. Oh, the small country revolted from us, so we lost a lot of land there. That set us back a ways. <laughs> the nation of Alt F4, true. The nation of Go Outside. <laughs> we conquered Kanor <laughs> in the first 75 years. The nation of Go Outside. The rebel nation? Yeah. The small country. They revolt against you, and they, uh... Of course, you revolt against us. Hmm, okay. Let's go leave the siege. They're coming down here. We gotta get you lair out of this war. That's when we need to go and fight these 3,000 troops, I think. So go ahead and leave 2,000 behind. Take care of those troops. Oop, there's 7% up here. Let's go fight Bjarnrik. Hopefully we can get up there in time. Not lose another 7% siege. Would be nice. Would be nice, won't lie. We prefer not to lose 7% sieges consistently. All the time. Uh, you there? Hello. Yeah. They're going to hate me anyways, right? Ah, Forget it. We're doing it anyways. They're all going to hate me anyways. They're all going to hate me anyways. All right. Let me get this cord up. I didn't mean to stab up, but uh, apparently my subconscious really wanted me to stab up. So that's what we're going to do. Look, either, either we succeed or we go down in a blaze of glory, all right? One way or the other, we're fighting people. One way or the other, we are fighting people. There is no other alternative. We are kobolds. We shall fight. It is what we do. Bpec has taken this province. Bpec, I hate you with a passion, but also thank you for making it easier for me to take that from you. Actually, I could just build a fort here instead for now. Like, this is definitely a better fort overall. It's on the river and stuff, but, like, fort now better than the fort later, you know? Fort now better than the fort later. All right, build that up. We're not going down. We're going to go to restart five. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> like, when I get this far into a run, it's like, this is it. Like, we either get it or we don't. Or we don't. We either make it or break it. Simple as. <clears throat> Alright, our leader is dead. Very sad. Gifted academic, please. A 220. What is your definition of gifted academic? Because I have a very different definition than you, apparently. A very different definition. Very, very different definition. 220 is just really bad. <laughs> He's gifted. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. He's not a mage either, so you're going to the front lines, my guy. <clears throat> Congratulations. It's definitely because I want you to serve our military, not because you're absolute trash. All right, let's send you up to fully occupy Selmaldor. Uh, he's playing philosophy. Vastly less than so putting anything into practice. Uh. Crimson Deluge. Here's my least favorite part of Ambinar. Okay, my least favorite part. You still lose stability in the Crimson Deluge. I get it, right? It makes sense. If it starts raining blood, you're going to be like, huh, that's bad. Not a fan of that. Why? 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 Why don't I gain stability? Because, uh, I don't know, the humans are suffering. I don't care if it's raining blood on the humans. We're kobolds. We don't care. It don't matter. It's just a Sunday afternoon. Monday. Mon Monday afternoon. It's Monday. Today's Monday. Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, not Sunday. God, days aren't real, okay? Days aren't real. It's all fake. 
<clears throat> time is an illusion. Simple solution to that problem. Move capital to Bulwark. No, that does not solve the problem. No, my capital is in the cave. No, it's if you own any land inside the Crimson Deluge. Kobolds are cave trash? Whoa, 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 whoa. Using some strong language there. Cave trash, bro? Really? What did the kobolds ever do to you? Eh, they're just little guys. If I hate anything from this guy, that part is fair. That part's fair. But cave trash? No. Come on. There's little guys. There's little guys. Sure, maybe they're doing a lot of bad things right now, but that's because I'm telling them to. Only because I'm telling them to. <clears throat> they're cavern trash, not cave trash. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know if that's much better. <laughs> I don't know if that's much better. All right. Uh, Durwing, let's go ahead and annex you. Everyone's going to hate me anyway, so I might as well just annex them all. Delete this fort, too. Can't defend it. Cobalt throw gold in the pit. Could name it trash. Yeah, but we're not doing that, are we? No, we are not throwing gold into pit because throwing gold into pit is bad. Is bad. Curse of Deluge. Blood falling from the sky. Looks at the lands of halflings and humans. Hey, it's blood deluge every day, but not from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I don't know why we care. So we can get a stack wipe here. Maybe. Where are you retreating to? I don't know. Place they're converting to coronate. That's fine. That's fine. You can convert to coronate all you want. We can convert to coronate. Just saying. Wouldn't be difficult. If we start to demonsterize. We can flip coronate. Just saying. Hey, Bjarne, are you landing troops? Very rude. You could also culture switch to Gwedi. That's true. That's true. We could do that. Everthil has entered a coalition. Well, we're getting decked on then. <sighs> Militarist Great Conqueror. There's no way we're not getting decked on. One loan's not the end of the world. Good rinse, okay. Go there and then up to there. Take them out. Hello? Kobolds, you're so incompetent. How did you not stack wipe that? They they took that province. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, get rid of Bjarne's troops here at the very least. No? No stack wipe? Bro, we're slacking. We are slacking. For real, for real. All right, you get that occupied. We're taking Dane's Crowns' as capital. That should hopefully be enough to get us out. Our truce with Laurent is up in two years. We will go to war with them. We will kill them. We'll take as much land as we possibly can. Then, I don't know. We're going to need to fight Duran at some point, though they have 70,000 troops that are very scary. But we are going to have to kick him out. All right, there's 91%. So we're going to take all this. I guess Beyond Rick stays in this. All this. Max money. Uh, that's really the shortest truce I can get with you. Well, this is point. So we take all that, delete this fort. If you icon on the rent, no, it's on Lissan. There are two party of Rubenair. This is the rent. Yeah, no, we're good. All right, start coring that up. Get that on siege. Get ready for this coalition war. It's gonna fire. Yeah, no, it's definitely firing. It is uh, definitely going to fire. 
Okay. And I can sell seeds here once we unseed siege this. <laughs> sell seeds. Thank you very much. All right. Very good. So I guess <clears throat> for now, we just walk down towards Laurent. And if the collision war fires, then we readjust. If it doesn't, then we don't. Simple as. Simple as. Uh, we still need these props from Arboran. What about with your amount of land you have? Well, most of it's not stated up, so that would be why. Most of it's not stated up, and I can't afford to state it up because then I run out of governing capacity, and that is bad. Very bad. We're so close to being able to raid coasts. We won't be able to raid a lot of coasts, but just some. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Whose mistake is that? Oh, not a mistake. A mistake says I didn't do that on purpose. I I knew I wasn't going to state it up. It's a lot of ammo points to state all that up. Right in the dame's head? Yeah, we have a truce with most people in there right now, but eventually we will not. And then we will have money. Money, money, money. I do enjoy me a bit of money. All right. Uh, Rebels, Eaglecrester, Derwinger. Yeah. Meanwhile, we are getting raided constantly by the people in Garudia, and I'm going to let them keep doing it. I'm not going to stop them. I don't care. <clears throat> they want to raid me they can raid me because I can't really stop them and I'm not going to go fight them if I don't have to because technically we also hold land that's not in Kanor but we need to take anyways like all this stuff this is in Garudia um well no actually damn by my own definition I do have to go into Garudia because that's Kanor Frick. <sighs> we'll do that when we get a navy. Less important. They're less important than everyone else. Tearing apart the empire is number one most important. No! They're an OPM. They're gonna die. They're gonna die. Dark scale. No! Come on, dark scale separatists. I believe. I believe. They could do it. Can you guarantee? Oh, I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I have enough problems. <laughs> if they die, they die. <laughs> it's like, that's on them. Like, I care about them, like, uh, superficially. I don't actually care. <laughs> if they die, they die. I, you know, people want to kill me, so skill issue. Skill issue. They're on their own. Cornite Firebrand, okay. How much to annex the rent, by the way? Still a lot. Can you see gold scales? No. No. Fake kobold? No, real kobold. Can we go after Isolde? That's not going to happen. I need to take land I can defend. Thank you very much. We go liberate dark scales. I doubt there's going to be cores there to liberate. If you know what I mean. I feel like the dwarves are going to uh, get rid of that possibility. Any cold of intronations? Yes. Uh, Zerzermexia. Releases from this province, I think. You can go and be artificer kobolds in the new world. It's one of the triarchy. No, a really good general died. I need a new one. Who's going to be a 6x? Did someone request one earlier and I missed it? Uh, yeah, Filthy Kitty did. That's not a 6x. Need another one. Bagel, you're up. Mm -hmm. It's 
four six is better. We'll take it. Do cores get removed? Yeah, they do get removed. They can at least. God, dude, my cheek still hurts like crazy. Ah! Brilliant staff officer dead. Spend a bunch of money to gain a stab and five devotion, or I lose tradition and professionalism. Okay, now we get to the real question. <laughs> now we get to the real question. Religious wars. Merc maintenance. Ship cost. That's what we're looking for. We're going to go... Um, this first, but we might want to go call the high seas next. Hey, Laurent. Bud. I've got a uh, present for you. It's an army. They would like to say hello. Favik. I'd like to say hello to you too. Did it say Sornikan? Sornikos joined? Oh yeah, no, this is definitely firing. Oh boy. Are we really gonna get ripped off of another Laurent war because people declare a coalition war on me? Don't do that. Don't do that game, please. Fleet basing ideas as Dutch? Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't played with like homebrew stuff in, uh, in like base game before. Another general dead. Humans are gone from Vertesk. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab Solor in here. Fight them. Nice little stack wipe. And we will send our troops forward onto Glade Gate. Yeah, so I don't want to split up too much in case this coalition does fire because I'm going to need to retreat real quick like. Real quick, like, and when's our true up with small country? Okay, we have to declare a small country, like, when our truce is up. Otherwise, they will join the coalition, and that's bad. That is very, 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 very bad. Not interested in that whatsoever. No, thank you. No, thank you. Because that would mean that then I have to fight literally everyone else to get the land that I already owned, which would be really infuriating and very sad. And it would just be really difficult to get back. Uh, we can take another government reform, though. That's cool. Subserving a bureaucrats for the corruption reduction. Zealous administrators for less or stab cost reductions and cultural conversion cost reductions. Divine nobility for more yearly army tradition and more leaders for that upkeep. Or mercantile tithe for more global trade power. It's between the corruption and the nobility, I think. Um, both are good options. Both are really good options for us. I kind of am tempted by that corruption, though. Like, we spend so much money reading our corruption. Yeah. Uh, it makes my states less influential, though. No, I don't really want to do that. No, I'm going to go with that one. I don't want to make my states any less influential for now. For now, for now, for now. We do have to think about absolutism. I thought about it. That's good. Good exercise. Uh, I'm not sure how much we're going to get, though. Ooh. Do I take tech? Or do I save up to take land? <laughs> well. Anyone not in the coalition now... We'll be in it then. That's for damn sure. Except Duran. Duran doesn't care. 
No, they do. No, no, no. Never mind. They're in it. Casual 150% overextension. Yeah, that's the big problem. Because then if they occupy it, then I can't record it. And then we get the events. And then... So instead, we're going to be a little bit uh, smarter here. I could do this. It's, I know it's bad border core. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. That's better. Doesn't take all that land ruin our fort wall strat. No, it gets closer. Remember, the goal is to own both of these choke points and park boats. Park a lot of heavy ships in them and make sure no one can cross. And just force everyone up through here. No fort in the peace deal? Nah. Well... 106 Fui. I mean, we could not take that province. Can I take a L'Oreal's Rest or something? Then max money and war reps. Yeah. Something like that. It's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Gets me a border with Ruben Air. Ah, damn, I didn't mean to. Shouldn't have clicked on him. <sighs> it's okay. I could get Duran out of the coalition, though. I was, I, the only reason they haven't joined is because they're at war. Any defensive provinces? Not really. Ruby Pass has been taken by Ruben Air, which is a pretty good defensive province. All this is forest, which is pretty good. Um. <clears throat> I mean, it, uh, Yo Relin is probably the best one, to be fair. But it's a lot of development to take. 17 dev. It is a center of trade, though. But, I don't know. Uh, it can't be dependent on the privileges, but it was me and the main thing where you're over 60 influence, they give more manpower recovery speed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we do need. Can I show culture for a sec? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. That's religion. That's culture. That is a culture net mode. Let me get some more water while you guys are looking at that. Tap water poet? Yes. I'm a tap water enjoyer. Fuck, I got something on my sock? I was walking over here to stab me. It's like a piece of plastic. I'm sure it's fine. <clears throat> Alright. I'm pause. I'm sure it's fine. Sometimes you just get stabbed by plastic. No big deal. Restart number five incoming? Why would we have restart number five? Why would we get... Why would we have restart number five? Uh, yeah, we'll take this, though. Okay, so we can raid coast now. Just gonna say hello to Duran. Thanks. Check trade here. Go home at war. <clears throat> I said the F word. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think I did. I I would never say a bad word. Ever. I am uh, PG. I only say good words. Never bad words. No bad words allowed. Stabbing yourself is bad for your health. Well, I didn't stab myself. I got stabbed. Which also, still bad for your health. But I didn't stab myself. I was stabbed. So I guess if I stepped on it, does that count? If I stepped on something and then it stabbed me, am I stabbing myself? Or did I get stabbed? I think I got stabbed. Because like, I didn't do the action. Like, the n I didn't know that I was doing the action. What's a good word? Uh, when you say please and thank you. Say your pleases and thank yous. All right? Always, always, always. I'm sorry. 
you don't have to say it. You don't have to say please and thank you. Live live like a wild and free bird, okay? Do do what you want. Uh, dance when you want to. Is that how that song goes? Dance, dance with which? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's how it goes. Are those magic words? Yeah, but they're also nice words. I think they can be both. Why must magic not be mean or be nice? Magic can be nice. You can leave your friends about. Yeah. <laughs> evidence? No, we don't have to clip it. There's no need for evidence. Evidence is so overrated. Did you know eyewitness testimony? Not very reliable. So when you look at that and you see that, that then becomes eyewitness testimony, which means it's not reliable. Sorry, I hate to tell you. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's true. It's very true. 100% true. Absolutely true. It's true. Are they going to get this siege? I sure hope not. I sure hope not. <clears throat> Uh, 1,000 troops here. Maybe 12,000 here. I got a wall breach. Oh, no. Please. Please, 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 please don't take my fort. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. Please. Streamer is gaslighting. <laughs> Another idea group? Uh, It would be, yeah. We have to core out all, all this stuff up, though, so not yet. I mean, then we have to fight the coalition. But it's fine. Foreign wisdom. 50 admin points. Huge. Ah, oh, they did get hell water. Dang, bro. That's so sad. That is so sad. No, I need more war score. Because I do want money and war reps from Laurent. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I thought that this event popping up messed up the pausing. And then made it to where small country joined. Oh, my heart, dude. My heart. Oh, God. That can't be good for me. Oh, they don't even have enough aggressive expansion. I'm being all upset about nothing, bro. They can't even join. They can't even join. Anyways, Bavik, I would love to. But uh, I don't have any boats up here. And they have galleys. And I only have light ships that are outdated. So I don't think it'd go too well for me. Dragon Cult Small Country? Wait, is it really? <laughs> funny. Funny, funny, funny. They're still gonna die, but very funny. See, we're not so bad. The halflings think we're bad, but we're not so bad. We're just we're just reclaiming kobold land. That's it. Oh, wait, are there any kobolds in here? No, we have the only kobold. Dang. I can't use that propaganda. Well they did own kobolds at one point. <laughs> Bowie the drama queen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's good. Less AE. It is good. It is good. I don't think it's going to matter in the grand scheme of things, but it is good. No doubt. Uh, let's go over here. Farther than the Bay of Wines. Have just trying to fit with the Scaly Overlords? <laughs> They're running. They know. They know what's happening. They know. They know. Uh... Look, it's nothing personal, kid. All right? It's just business. Just business. Can we see the AE map? Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> they are not happy. They're not happy with me. And once Duran is out of this war, they're going to join a coalition war against me. So I might want to preemptively attack them. To be fair. I don't necessarily want to attack small country yet. Until I peace out with the rent. Because then they join. Or Jerry even joins. But... It's fine, he says. Not truly convinced that it is fine. The small country, of course, on the rent. No, only on us. They have claims on all the halfling land, but only, of course, on us, because we took their land. Well, we took back our land, I should say. Right, there's Siege of Hillwater. Go get that occupied. 137 over extension. What? No, that's A. That's A. That's A. We only have 98% overextension. I was like, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? I shouldn't have that much. All right. Lock up here. 
Get the two icons messed up. That's fair. They do look oddly alike for being so close together. All right, you go get all of that siege down. Cool. Moving there. Laurent, you're going to peace out with me. You're going to give me all of your land. Actually, do I want all of it? Probably not. I think we just take this for now. Like, I can't defend this down here. Yeah, let's have a little bit of a shorter curse. No matter what, the man is dead at this point. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Right, go ahead and core all of that up. Still have 384 admin points. Very nice. Now we have Monstrous Conquest on Rubenir. Do we fire this off? Because we should. We should declare on Duran here, I think, to make sure they don't join the coalition war. Look how many points we spent on core and stuff so far this run. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Man, if we were a horde, this would be much easier. <laughs> be much easier. Let me just burn everything to the ground. We'd be swimming in monarch points. Swimming in monarch points of development. So here's where we run into our next problem. Uh, the war with small countries done. And I don't have the overextension to deal with it. So... Uh, skill issue. Skill issue. A little bit there. Give me your cores on me. Going for over 100 OE. No problem, right? Listen. Listen. What's the worst that could happen? We, of course, take money to cycle truce timer? We could. Depends on coring speed. Not very fast. Three years. No, about two years. Can we take the war exhaustion until we core? Maybe. I don't know, though. It goes up real fast. Real fast. We are kind-hearted, though. And we are in the Crimson Deluge. It's a pretty good combo. We could try and wait it out. We'll see how it goes. Uh, do we want to start that other war with Rubenair, though? Because I think we kind of do. There's Rogeria. Oh, it's a yes or no question. We got to answer it now. <clears throat> Uh, I'm back in $180 poor. Uh, welcome back. I am more admin points poor. Also, my hair is all weird today. Why didn't anyone tell me my hair was weird? Y'all were just sitting here with my hair being all weird and you didn't even say anything? Very rude. Very, very rude. Force religion? Well, they already are a religion. <clears throat> I feel like we can't let Duran join the coalition war, right? Like, if we declare on... Rubenair and fight Duran, like the coalition will absolutely fire but if it joins then it'll fire anyways and then we have Duran in the coalition war and maybe we can rush down Rubenair and try and piece them out for a short truce no copium in that statement right there no copium at all pure facts love watching Poe with funny hair throwing best content <laughs> okay okay Fair, fun, fair, fair enough, I guess. All right, we can finish monstrous ideas. Gives cheaper idea cost, more max absolutism, and finishes our national ideas as well. Cobalt School of Artificery. The gnomes love to tinker, make everything ingeniously perfect. 
The dwarves love efficiency in a well-oiled machine. What do kobolds love? Explosions. And lots of them. Whoa. Kind of trying to uh, take over the goblin stuff there. All right. 10% artillery combat ability and 10% land fire damage. Does that mean we want to switch out of our shock troops? Because we have 20% fire damage now. Even our next guys don't. Our next shoot. Oh, no, bro. They haven't updated the kobold pips yet. The, the next kobold troops are worse than our current troops. And like literally every way. Unfortunately. Paul Annex released Vassal. No. They have too many cores on me. Uh, if I release the halflings, then I have to stop he who mean halflings. Uh, none of which I want to do. We thought it was intentional? No, it wasn't intentional. My hair's just all over the place. Why did I do that intentionally? Uh, did I learn hard enough? Yeah, I did. Well, yeah, I, I fought him and then they got dogpiled on. All right, Coalition. Where you at? I'm ready. Fire away. Don't be shy now. How's culture map mode looking? It's looking good. For us. Not for humans, but for us. We're getting there. What? Wh huh? <laughs> what do you mean, dishonored call? Yeah, Laurent, what the heck, man? Laurent warning Sorncost? But I don't border Sorncost, so the warning wouldn't work. Sorcost borders the rent. So warning works. Uh, well, what the heck, Laurent? With your zero troops, I could have sacrificed your land this coalition war. Would have made my life much easier. <sighs> oh well. All right, well, coalition war time. Uh, this time, they have almost 400,000 troops. Surely this is not how we die. Not convincing, huh? Not very convincing. Okay, let's throw on some defensive edicts here. And start praying to the dragon gods, I guess. Uh, my first time in. This is awesome. <laughs> welcome. Oh, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yeah, we're... Uh... <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Not even Dukas had this bad. True, true. These humans are just extra racist to kobolds. Man, they didn't even unite around Dukinson. Yeah, they hope there's not how to die with 800 ducats and 80,000 manpower. Good point, good point. Doesn't mean I won't, though. So watch it. Yeah, you should watch yesterday's stream. Yesterday's stream was this, but no coalition wars. It was just conquest. It was amazing. It was some of the best EU4 I've ever played. Like, enjoyed. I enjoyed it so much. All right, there is admin tech. So new idea time. Clearly it needs to be a military idea group. So what do we go for? We need to kill. We need to bang, 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 bang. Get him, get him, get him. No fortress ideas, none of that. I'm looking at standing army. I'm looking at offensive. And that's probably it. Also, no, I'm going to text. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Defensive for morale. No. I don't care about morale. I want to get kills. I need to kill them. <laughs> they need to die. What does fire ideas do? Fire ideas is very good. Once we get troops that actually do fire damage. <laughs> Our pips, for whatever reason, um, don't get good until tech 23. I mean, you might be able to argue 19, but like, we have the best troops we're going to have for quite some time. 
unfortunately. I think standing in armies gonna be what we want. This is infantry combat ability, artillery combat ability, siege ability, discipline, less land force limit, but I'm not at my land force limit anyways. So there's that, 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 and that. Get those three going. Make sure I have all policies in. I don't have plus three yearly professionalism. That's probably worth to just have around for now. Monthly autonomy change is probably not worth it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go fight them. I really need this Ruben Air Fort to fall. Oh. They're just standing there. Waiting, looking at my 1k stack. Please don't. Please leave them alone. Our terrible air died. That's good. All right, now we are like super old, right? We're 67. We're going to turn them into a military commander. And we're going to choose a powerful mage. 233 three is not bad. 233, three, three, not bad. Uh, and they're a free thinker, too. So-called free thinkers when they think my kobold leader is bad. <laughs> Got him. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so that means that we need our current ruler to die. So that way we get access to, hopefully, war magic. That would be the, the hope. Be the hope. Ouch. Huh, double, I guess. So now we just fight Rubenair until they want to peace out. Again, I'm just looking for like a white piece versus Rubenair. We're not looking for anything crazy. I just need to not let them join the coalition. They do have wall breaches up here. I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to split these two stacks. Which sounds kind of dangerous, all things considered. Um, but. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with these guys, though. And if they reinforce, like, we're, we're like super dead okay they're not reinforcing at least they don't need to and sally out proliferation of halfling tobacco cool all right they break that siege move north great marshes is at uh wall breach at zero percent gonna want to make sure we go and deal with them you also need defensive edict here <clears throat> you know, like making my allies elves sadly. Oh yeah, I saw you talking about how the, you didn't wait for the PU war. The AI didn't. Which is rough. AI always be ruining plans. Always be ruining plans. There we go. Delete Rubenair's troops. Literally just looking for a white piece here. They're not looking for it themselves, but uh, eventually they might get around to it. Uh, cool beans. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want to fight the Magisterium's troops, if possible. Okay, we gotta go. We have got to get out of there. Because we're not going to beat 70,000 troops running around. Uh, I guess we go fight Durant's troops down here. Okay, so there's the unconditional surrender from small country. Okay, we go straight to Great Marches. Straight was not the correct option there. Should have gone um, curved to Great Marches. Right there. You need to come grab these fights. Uh, severed ears offer me a loan. No. No, no, no. Trees against Kobold Zan? I'll take the manpower. Thank you. Master Stream wrecking you? Yeah, they are. I don't know what they went, but they've been doing really well this game. <clears throat> against us. Divine, offensive, defensive. Yeah. They have more shock damage. They have discipline. It's rough. What do you call Gwetan as a kobold? Uh, Gwetan. <laughs> uh, 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 
Gawad bad? Obviously. Duh. Duh. What, what else would you call it, Kobold? You wouldn't just keep the regular name, would you? That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh, please let me get away with this. It's so greedy, but like... I can't let them get my siege. Oh, yep. And Everthel's a great conqueror. I don't know if they're still a great conqueror, but they were. Yeah, they are. So they have more siege ability. The fort lines are falling, boys. The fort lines are falling. Not good, not good, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Are you fighting BPEC? What is happening here? Westum is declaring war on someone. <clears throat> I don't know who, but I'll take it. No, I'll keep them distracted. They did reinforce this. Damn. Okay. What's my land force limit? What's my economy looking like? I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. God, they're too expensive. I'm almost a duck in a month. I can't afford that. We don't have 20,000 troops. <laughs> I, I want to go in with the full backline cannons, but we just can't afford it. Are you trapped now? No. We're good. You do need to run, though. Scorch that. And that. Oh, boy. Okay, we have to contest this. Watch out for that 50k. What? Oh, okay. That's fine. Walk around Soren Costa's troops to fight Duran. Uh, what advisor do we have right now? Fort maintenance? Nah. Don't worry about fort maintenance. Give me a morale guy or something. Morale guy. Go indebted to the burgers. The fight for Kanor begins now. All the other ones were just warm-ups. This is the real uh, real first big coalition war. Are you ready to leave? No. Not yet. Not yet. How's inflation looking? Fine. Looking fine. Do we have taking war score? We do have taking war score on these guys. We're going to lose the north, I think. We can't full annex now. Oh, yeah, we can. All right. We can't take that call for peace anymore. Uh, uh, let's focus on saving the south first. It's going to be a pain getting those forts in the north back, but it is what it is. We have to hold somewhere. And we're just losing too many things up there to focus on right now. Besides, it's not that essential to our economy, so it's not as big of a deal. Go there. The majority purged, okay. We're going for the, the true kobold style. Yes, we will be in this war, and yes, I will suffer, but you will suffer more. Also, we are losing how much a month? Yeah, you can go ahead and stop rooting out corruption. For now. We'll pay it off later. We'll pay it off later. You go ahead and fully consolidate here. Meet up with them. Bavik has fallen. Alright, boys. Forward. We must, uh, you know, get them. <laughs> we gotta get them good. 
Do I have Ticking War Score? No, we have to get Ticking War Score on the Coalition. Ran, you're in charge. All right, don't let me down. No, let me down. You got to win these wars, win these battles. What's come up with? 27. You need more troops. I will get those to you. Give you a couple more. All right. Fight them. I can't afford a level 1 or a level 2 advisor. I just need a level 1 morale advisor. Please, game. Please. Also, if my leader could die, I would appreciate it. I would like to have my war wizard. There we go. Oof, we are taking major losses here. Major losses here. That should not have been an even fight if it went our way. Um, like, if it went well. It's okay. Uh, let's see how they're looking. Wrong war. Correct war. Well, that's 134,000 to attrition. It's like Arborand's in this, right? How is their manpower looking? They're out. Rogeria is out. Grotesque is out. Dame's Crown has a truce. Who else is in this? Everthil is running out. Pearl's Edge is fine. Tretton is fine. Magisterium is fine. Amakra Akramton is running out. BPEC is running out. So they're all running out of manpower. I'm fine. I have 40,000 left. I have some professionalism to uh, burn. Let. I really need to get these guys out of here. Minus eight. Well, there's BPEC's troops. Get him. We gotta get this stuff on siege, though. We have to be able to core it up. And I think we're just gonna sacrifice like the entirety of the north. We're gonna hold here, and we're gonna hold hopefully here. And if we can't hold here, then uh, <laughs> we'll fall back to here. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. No. He's walking away. Okay. No more BPEC troops. No more BPEC. Obviously, we can't like separate piece them out, but uh, it's fine. <sighs> no, this is not the vibe. Come on. There you go. Music always be like, no, I will not play what sounds good at this exact moment. We'll play very calm music when you're fighting for your life. You're fighting for the campaign. Be like, nah, we're gonna play something real nice. Nice and calm, nice and relaxing. No, thank you. There goes Vertesk. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, number one tip for EU4. Uh, don't get overwhelmed by the coalition force. <laughs> just accept, just you gotta go zen, right? You gotta go zen. You just gotta get in the zone. You gotta get in the zone. You gotta focus down. You gotta accept that your country's gonna go to hell. And uh, you're gonna pull back. You're gonna pull back from it. And it's gonna be real cool when you do it. It's gonna suck in the meantime. But it's gonna be real cool when you pull it off. Real cool. There's more rebels. Can we help these guys out maybe? Just woke up had a nightmare. Probably had to restart this run. No, there's no restarting. There's no restart. This, this is a do or die situation. Do or die. We either live or it's dwarves. There is no in between. There is no quitting. There is no uh, anything. Do or die. Sink or swim. No. Yeah. Sink or swim. They've lost a siege. The north is lost. Rubenir, can you please go away? They're at minus three. That is bad. That is like so super bad. I cannot explain to you how bad that is. Um, defensive. We cannot let that fall. If those rebels succeed, our economy is going to go uh, bye bye. <laughs> please, I need my Dave's crown or my Dave's here. Please, 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 please. 
Please, 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 please. You cannot, you cannot take that from me. You can take every other outside province, but not that one. Oh, Everthill wants to get stack wiped, apparently. Alright. Cool. Demonsterization. Oh, because we finished the monstrous idea groups, we can demonsterize faster. Do we really want to demonsterize? I don't think there's any reason to. No, I know there's not a reason to. Let's just maybe lose a bunch of stability and it's gonna suck. I'm not interested. I'm not monstrous. They're monstrous. Look what they're doing to me. They're the ones taking down all my land. No. No rebellions. Get out of here. No rebellions allowed. This ain't a cube run? Uh-uh. There we go. More war score. How are we looking at for war score from battles in the coalition war? We're at a solid 28 war score. So be it. As long as this doesn't fall. The rest of it can fall. I've just not fought them. <laughs> I think that's the funniest part. Is they're like going all in on me and I'm just like, eh, well, I'm just going to go fight Ruben Air. <laughs> you can build the Diplomana for government reform. True, but counterpoint, stability. Oh, I could have gotten a three stab here. Oh well. All right, let's start fighting the coalition down here. Oh, okay, that's fine. You need to go help over here. Make it attempting target not to reinforce. Let them walk in. You go fight them. That's sword cost. Rubenir wants out. Again, it wasn't for land. I just need them to not join the coalition. Can you imagine if they were also in the coalition? Oh my god, that'd be terrible. That'd be horrendous. Uh, there's my morale of armies guy. There's a morale of navies guy. We, we Music, please. What, what's a good song? I don't know what the song's like by heart here. I should. Metal version. That sounds intense. I was wrong. Breedfield. I don't see that one. I don't see it. And Ravens in the list. Raven, like the song that starts with an R? Ravens? That one? I think I have a disabled. Am I allowed to play that one? No. I'm pretty sure that's one of the ones I'm not allowed to play. <laughs> pretty sure that's, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. I love potato. Okay. That works. <sighs> One more. 300,000 troops. 400,000 troops. No, there's the parts of Origins from Mercer back. Is it part of Origins? I thought it was part of the other one. <laughs> I thought it was part of the other one. I should go through that and double check all those. Okay. Go ahead and do a death stack here for a moment. Yep, there we go. Not worried about rebels. Seeing a very juicy target over here of a bunch of Xmas troops with no um, no general, but they're busy sieging something down, so I'm not going to stop them. Troops deserting, that's unfortunate. How's my war exhaustion looking? Reduce that. Okay. So we, we can't let this fort fall. <laughs> if this fort falls, we're, we're dead. We're dead. I need you to die. I need the mage. I need the magic. I'll see the fish coring things up. So do it, V-Pack. 6-5 leader right there. <clears throat> I 
Well, the coach doesn't accept, concede defeat. Oh, good question. Good question. Let's check. Let, you know what? I'll end the halfling purge and the human purge. Ah, they won't take it. Ah, man. I really thought they would take concede defeat. When do you ever use that? I don't think I've ever clicked concede defeat one time. Not one single time have I ever clicked that. Why would you click that button? Like, what does it do? Does it even do anything? Like, why would I make the AI concede defeat? I'm just going to take things. Right? Am I crazy here? Am I crazy here? All right, there we go. They're taken care of. Now we go fight you. Take care of those rebels. All part of the plan. And we split back up into two armies here, I think. Don't want to death stack too much. Okay, you're going to go fight those Exmister troops. You are going to go clear the way here. We need to scorch that province. Gives prestige for a little war score. Mm. So not worth it. Because that's the only thing you could take, too. Then you can't even take, like, money or anything, which sucks. <laughs> nice. The reformer dies. Temple's ransacked. Oh, well. There we go. That's a stack life on the Exwist troops. Uh, no. Not hurting you. You need to go scorch that. Fight those rebels. Come over here. Slack it once. Let's use on Defender of Faith to make him lose it. That's true. Scorch that. Over here. <laughs> but again, like, wouldn't wouldn't you just rather take money though? Like, ten war score of money has got to be worth more than the prestige that you get from concede defeat, right? Like, if I tell them, hey, concede defeat to me, boom, I get ten prestige. Then you can't take anything else. That's bad. That's just bad. It's just bad. It's just bad. Just bad. No good. No good. Kill BPEX troops. I might no longer a valid rival. Okay, so we're going to have to start the process of getting our land back. Y'all ready for some breached walls? Fight Rogeria's troops are just sitting here. Oh, damn. Coronites really do be doing corn things, huh? Coronites really do be doing corn things. The problem is, the war leader is down here. But I can't get there. You still retreating? Yeah, okay. Okay, we have to at least get this province back. At least. You two are going to keep scanning around down here. How many defenders do you have? Thousand? Okay. He's definitely going to come fight me, right? 21%. 21% needs to happen. We need the 21% to happen. We have to get the 21%. Have to, have to, have to. Please, 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 please. Give us the 21%. Huge. Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. Scorch that, run away. Now he walks the other direction. Beautiful. Okay. Good, good, good. That's already at minus seven. God, I hate great conquerors. <laughs> Poey luck. Poey luck. Turn around, turn around, turn around. They they breached. They, they breached it. 
I hate Great Conquerors. Why do we turn Great Conquerors on for this run again? I don't remember. I think I even said maybe we shouldn't do it. Um, and then I did. So we should have done that. For sure. Uh, Eberthil has brought a lot of troops down here. And they've got a lot of really good generals. Cube answered your prayers? I don't think so. I didn't pray to it. You guys did. I didn't know. I, I would not attribute it to the cube. <laughs> Be careful not to spend all your luck in one run. Well, I mean, it's kind of now or never, don't you think? <laughs> like, it's kind of now or never. You gotta back up. Kind of now or never. Good, the AI cheats and leaves the fort. That's fine by me. Those are woods. I don't want to attack woods, but I do see a rather good fight down here against Rogerius troops. No! Bro, I thought I clicked on gray mill. Okay, fine. We fight here. Uh, hey, Pigeon. How's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back. Can't tend to want anything around me right now. Uh, it was between Great Mythical Conqueror, so you checking out and chose Great. Yeah, imagine if I chose Mythical. Imagine if I chose Mythical. Just got out of your Jad Civil War. It was pretty fun. You and I have a different definition of fun, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. <clears throat> manpower numbers are looking thin? No, our manpower numbers are looking fine. As long as we've got one kobold left, we shall defend the mountains. What happened? A giant coalition more fired. Uh, don't worry. More of them have died than me. <laughs> we're winning. We're, we're, I know it doesn't look like it. We're winning the coalition war, though. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <clears throat> 130 OE. No, the OE is fine. The OE hasn't really been that big of an issue. Like, we've got some bad events, yeah, but not many. Okay, you need to walk over here. Ha, they're scared. They're scared. Scared of the kobolds. Please die. Leader, please die. For the love of God. You need to die. You're so old. Let the mage take over. It's time. It's time for the mages to take over again. Please. I beg of you. I beg of you. Let the mages take over. Man, we are just throwing now. Now we are throwing. Okay, you got to back up to here. Preferably soon. Okay. Can you win this in time? No, not even worth it. Run away. Run away. Okay. What if we consider giving the coalition stuff? What do they want? Well, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. What if I? What do they even want? I want land to Babic. Do you want like a nation releasing or something? <laughs> yeah, let me just release blue scale real quick. No, 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 no. Yeah, let me just release go wed real quick. What the? How is that 63% war score? What? Like, that's insane. Ooh, North Viswall, Pearview. Hold on. That's not that bad. No, it is. <laughs> we lose our capital. It is that bad. I don't understand how Gawed is so low. So Maldor, we can give it some Maldor. Like, I'd be fine giving up two halfling tags. This is quite a bit. Nah. 
we go down to Blazer Glory. If we're going down, we're going down. Like, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna cower it out. If we die, we die. Simple as. They're already. They're immediately coming after me though. Yeah, that's not a good sign. They have no leader though. But now they're all here. To a front time. <laughs> We're going down. We're going down fighting. Go up to this fort. Okay. Or. Hear me out. Or we just go back to the classic. And we just hold these two forts. We can get 12 more war score from ticking. People are, their war exhaustion is going up. They're going to get tired of the war. They're going to start having rebel problems and they're going to leave. Can you provoke rebels? No. Can't provoke rebels while war. <clears throat> so I think we just retreat back to the mountains and we hold. And then we go to here. <laughs> we increase enlistment in all of our states. It's very expensive. I don't care. Uh, but as long as it doesn't need to be defended, we are going to get a little bit of manpower going here. While we can all right, now we hold the line. Actually, we're going to overstack this right here. I need to... I need to fight this. And I need to scorch this. That needs to be scorched. Viswal goes. Good couple strategy hiding behind hort forts, yeah. And we'll just wait. Then we'll just wait. Crimson Deluge is over. I suppose that's a positive. Please die. Please, you know what? Grab one troop. Grab one troop. Put our leader on. Drill. You need to die. You need to die so badly. I cannot explain to you how badly you need to kick the bucket right now. I need war magic. Really badly. Take care of the enemies when that last. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't notice those guys. Frickin' Sorn Cost. Frickin' Sorn Cost, bro. Occupying my lands. Not very nice. Yeah, where are you gonna retreat to is my question. What? You can actually retreat? Hello? What? AI cheating? Okay, cool. Spread of ideas. 65 support for printing press. Sure. Sounds great. Oh, hey, are they tech 14? Because if anyone gets to tech 14 before we do, it's definitely a loss. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Spread of ideas, yes. Unrest, doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Did you just see Viswal to BPEC? No, they got a core on it. We have a core, but uh, it doesn't matter. How far into standing ideas did we get? Uh, we don't have the siege ability or the discipline yet. Fortunately. We're gonna spend all of our Diplo points to buy down War Exhaustion now. That is not a good sign. 
Fuck me, they just took tech 13. That is a very unlucky time for that to happen. That is a very unlucky time for Soren Cost to get the Great Conquer. Not good. Not good. Our boats are very dead. We just hide. We just hide. They take attrition. Durant declared war upon Laurent. Reconquest. Okay. Uh, fire you. We just chill, I guess. Please die. Please, 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 please. I need you to die. Have you seen Alien Nation continue drilling two months after being in a war? No. No, they should automatically get taken off of drilling. Like, automatically. Hey, that's a lot of dudes sitting around waiting to reinforce. No one wants to go up here, are you sure? What if I mothball this? Silly AI. Oh no. Coalition 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> All right, it's almost time to make the push here. All right, make sure that all the cannons are going in. Let's go ahead and throw in the six shock general to the front. Make sure you have that. Good luck, boys. Wish you the best of luck in this. Don't die. Don't die. Nice. Stack wipe. And we're out. And we are out of there. Alright, we reset it. What? You son of a... Why? That was so unnecessary. Like, they're not even... They're, they're non-combatants, pretty much. They're just chilling in the back. You attack them? Really? For real, for real? They're already at 7%. Not good, not good, not good. Not good, not good, not good. I need more reinforcements. How good is Harmari administration? Uh, I would say Elven administration. For Jad. You shouldn't switch. It's about vassals and stuff. It's good if you want a vassal swarm. Not good if you want to, you know, do Jad things and conquer things. In my opinion. Vessels are you? Yeah. So then I would not switch. Not worth. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, they do have a general here. I hate how it doesn't show you if there's a general there or not. All right. Here we go. This is the fight. Speed three. We've got to roll well. Okay, we're rolling eight to a zero. That's good. We need more rolls like that. Okay, roll one in this shock phase. Go ahead and reinforce with half. With half. Stay here. Stay looking. Front line's doing fine. Roll a six to a zero in their shock phase. Doing major casualties. I don't know. I think that's my front line breaking. We'll get in there, but uh, I think we're going to break before they do. They have, like, full back line of cannons, too. Unseize your capital? My capital is unseized. But, yeah, I know what you mean. That's our capital. Enemy manpower. Enough. Especially with two great conquerors on their side. Like, they are running out, technically speaking. But, like, they won't run out fast enough.
Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, mages? Broadward, I guess? Well, no, because then it's going to make all these provinces more defensive, isn't it? Time for stew for peace. Yeah, but well, what are they going to ask? That's the thing. They will not accept anything we can offer them right now. More ups and money? No. What if I release Sel Maldor? And North Viswal and Pearview. Uh, fine. Fine, 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 fine. What much aid do I have now? <laughs> still a lot. Still, still, the answer is we still have a lot of aggressive expansion. Uh, but I suppose that'll do for now. Well, damn well, hey, hey, you know what? It, it could have gone worse. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. And look at that. We have so much revanchism now. Ah, that's what it's all about, right? Where is revanchism? I don't even know where revanchism. You can find it. Uh, where is revanchism? I don't even know. Oh, it's here. Right? Zero percent? Do you not get revanchism for releasing countries? Man, that's so dumb. No visible is course in the south, too. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but they, that's what they did. Okay, so we need to split the coalition. Yes, I'm not sure how we're supposed to do that at this point in time. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hydro Digit, you got it. Hundreds of thousands of people dead. True. True, true, true. Hundreds of thousands of people dead, but that's okay. More of them died than we died. We live here sell Maldor and Visual. I know that, you know, entire generations are gone, but don't worry. We got rid of some kobolds. All right, buy down our inflation. Uh, go ahead and... Damn. If we seize, there's going to be rebels. If I sell, then I'm underneath 20, and I can't do that. I'll uh, we'll just do it with the rebels. We'll just deal with the rebels. We'll call it role play. We'll call it role play. That's why there's rebels rising up everywhere. <laughs> Visual use united. True. We are the uniters of the halflings. People say that we are evil, and yet. And yet, we have done the good thing. We have done the good thing. Alright, grab that. Find the power of the nobility. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Fight them there. Go take that. Sweet. Uh, no, extend those loans. We definitely cannot pay them off. <laughs> Visual run! <laughs> yeah, I annex them and I release and play as. Huge. Big if true. Alright, so Sol Maldor doesn't... Well, I mean, they kind of hate me. But, that's alright. Alright, so what do we do from here? Is the question. Obviously, we have to, like, pay off our loans. We have to get this corruption back down. How old is Everthel's Great Conqueror? It should be kind of old. At this point. 51. And sword costs is 21. Ooh, and they've allied to Ran. Can we get Mr. Dragon Take Revenge? <laughs> if you can tell me... If you can tell me where to find 30,000 ducats, then yeah, I guess. But at this point, it would mostly just kill my own land. Well, the fact that our ruler is still alive is very sad. Like, it's not the reason we lost, but definitely didn't help. <laughs> Alright, uh, idea group. <clears throat> Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> In the console command. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <clears throat> I don't know about that one. I think we should go society ideas, actually. Lower our state maintenance. Get cheaper advisors. We can get a wild card, too. Dibble for AE? No, because it doesn't matter. Like, like they're going to hate us anyways. We've eaten thousands, probably, at this point. Thousands of development? Over a thousand development. Off of Kanor. They're not thrilled with me. We've killed two great powers. Um... And then once we see the rest of the Empire, we're kind of screwed. We do need Miltech. We do need Miltech. I think we're going to go Society here. What mod is this? Uh, if you're talking about the general thing, this is Ambinar. If you're talking about the sub mod, it's Homebrew. But I think you're probably talking about Ambinar. Total overhaul mod for European Universalis 4. Uh, custom Fantasy World. Fantasy Nations. Right now we're playing as Kobolds. And uh, we kind of got kicked in the face a little bit by... Uh, Massive continent-wide coalition, but I'm sure it's fine. We will recover and uh, be better next time. We'll beat them next time. All right, let's go ahead and get you there. And let's start going down to side ideas. All right, stop paying for the troops. Doesn't save much money, but it'll save us a little bit. Looks amazing. I definitely recommend you check it out. Exclamation point mods. That will take you to the uh, to a collection where I have all the mods. That I'm using right now. I recommend just using straight up regular Ambinar at first, uh, and then moving into Homebrew whenever you want that. It adds new idea groups and changes the balance of the game a little bit. Uh, but I think regular Ambinar is a good place to start. A pair of you can like me, I guess. Wait, did I accidentally stop doing the thing? So I don't know why Pearview doesn't hate me. I'm going to do regular. I do enjoy regular Ambinar. I do. But people really like homebrew, so I play homebrew. Uh, new rival time. Sure, Dame's Crown. Sure, sure, sure. Pearview grateful for their freedom. Temporary freedom. Temporary freedom. Okay, we're just going to go with mages for the rest. Like, that's so bad. Like, you're supposed to get good rulers with the top option, but we're not getting the top, the good rulers, apparently. <sighs> Are pretty halflings? Yeah. Pretty sure. And our air is just, like, super bad. Super, super bad. Divine ideas, Jad, is fun. It's all I want in life. No. Embrace the meta Jad. Embrace the meta Jad. You must you must click admin diplo offensive ideas. Do it. Embrace it. Uh Enverbrew or Hombanar? Hombanar, I think, is uh, a little bit smoother. This is when I have 85 cents each. Could be 90 though. Think about it. <laughs> think think about it. Think about it. Could be 90. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. I mean, as long as you're siege and fast as Jad. Kind of works. So everyone still hates me, and they're all going to join a coalition against me again. Well, not Regeria. Regeria's like, nah, he's fine now. We did enough. But everyone else uh, hates my guts. Um. Yeah. You know what I think it's time for? I think it's time we finally state everything up. I think I, I think we should state everything up now. Uh, I've come to the decision that uh, that it's important to have full stated things, and that it will help us going forward in our economy, and our manpower, and our strength to have that. So that's what we're going to do. 
We'll ignore admin tech now. We don't need admin tech. Admin tech's overrated. All I need is core all. What's the game plan moving forward? I don't know. I'm trying to think of the game plan moving forward. Because when the truce is up with the coalition, uh, we're going to run the same problem. If it doesn't fire beforehand. Because the other people could still join a coalition. And will cause problems. We may, hopefully, this coalition is at fire. And then we just sacrifice more land. We release some more vassals. Honestly, yeah, I wish I would have, we should have planned that. Like, to go crazy, take a bunch of land, and then release vassals to get rid of the truces while we build our nation up. And then we can push back one more time. At the end. Flee to the new world? No, I don't think going to alien tears is a good idea. All of these colonies, then we'll just get... They'll occupy all of our colonies, and we can't defend our colonies, and... Nah, 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 nah. Uh, 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 uh. Bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. No, I think what we need to do is just fix our economy. Fix our states. We need to buy time. We need to buy time. That's what it comes down to. So we may just wait for the coalition, next coalition to fire, and then... Give up some more halfling land or something like that. Which kind of sucks because that would be the third time that I've courted up. Which would uh, feel pretty bad. Well, why? Would feel pretty bad. But it is what it is. But it's definitely most important that we grab Miltech. What are you for missions? Uh, I need to conquer the small country and the Atlantic Reach. I believe is all that I have to conquer. I have to get rid of the EOA actually. Push into Ambinar. Yeah, I need the West Dame set. It wants you to take all of it. Why don't you take basically... Yeah, everything in Lentinor. So why don't you take all this. All this right here and all this up here. It's quite the mission tree. For being, like, not super long. Uh, it has you take a lot. It has you take a lot. It has you improve relations. Like, it's 1571 and we're this big. We could sit here for, like, the next 50 years if we wanted to. And just, like build a little taller and then when that time period comes around when we're actually like fully built then we can go out and kill everyone but I thought it was much more exciting to uh, to do it this way but we have been kind of slapped a little bit back to reality uh, we can't just expand like the good old days I think corn cost a little too much overall seeing how they add a whole more provinces basically you for and AI lacked I have a lot more to like 10 admin efficiency base 10 base Hmm, that'd be quite a lot, though. Ten bases is a lot. But I see what you're saying. I don't necessarily disagree. Uh, but could you imagine, like, the command with ten more admin efficiency? It would be kind of terrifying. It would be kind of terrifying. All right, there we go. So we're now no longer rooting out corruption. So our corruption is gone. We're making 17 ducats a month. We need to continue to core up. All of this. Core, 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 core. Snap back to reality. Oh, here goes mythical conquerors. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Really needs you to die. We also need to take institution, embrace it, but it's not even close to us. Not even close to us. Maybe we should have demonsterized. I don't know. What are the benefits of demonsterizing here? And playing it slower. And not going crazy like I did. I'm trying to have a think here. Which we all know, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Uh, allies? True. If you demonstrate, you get allies. You do get allies. That is true. Lots of government reform could take vassals. True. Could vassal feed. There would be fewer in the coalition, yeah. Unless you're asking if there are fewer now, in which case uh, Rogeria won't join, but everyone else will. So. 
too high of taxes. Okay. Counterpoint, no monstrous conquest. True, no monstrous conquest. That's a really good CB. It's a really, really, really good CB. But we could just go religious and counteract that. Right? We go religious and then we have the CB anyways. Mostly. No, I think he who in the humans and the halflings, though, is funny, is is bad. Is is bad. Uh, well, obviously, morally, is bad. But game wise, gameplay wise, it's bad too. Is bad too, because it makes everyone hate us even more. <laughs> Just think about it. Oh well, when you say it like that, <laughs> someone's free out. True, but then we don't get the free develop. But is that development really helping us? Is that development? really helping us and here's the next question if the goal is to take all canor is it better to go the technocracy route to get the missions to change the trade goods in the dragon coast because it might be Slave humans, half is a non negotiable. Well, I think a halfling vassal would probably be the best play and just feed them everything because then the small country can't ever exist. And we lost a lot of dev there. Lost a lot of dev there. Isn't Cube feared of monsters? What do you mean? Dev isn't the issue. True, dev isn't the issue. Useful dev is the issue. Useful dev is the issue. Like, I, you know, <laughs> CLK cord up, which, while funny, and we will get this all cord up here, I mean, it's a little late, right? And it's going to be super high autonomy now. And then we're just going to get decked on by another coalition. Another counterpoint to the way that we did it is that we were able to take a lot before anyone saw us, right? Technocracy is better. No, technocracy is technically not better because it lowers our possible absolutism. Which sucks. A lot. Small country have these fortified their lives and they revolted. That's true. That's true. That's true. All right, uh, let's pay for our troops again. They gotta go deal with some rebels. Does he Laurent dead? Yeah, Laurent is very dead. Which is very, very dead. Uh, option, or another point. I don't think this should be played with... Ooh, there's the League War, though. Uh, they should play the Coronite League. That's super embarrassing for them. Uh, I don't think we should play with Great Conquerors. We're already doing something kind of crazy hard, so we don't need the extra difficulty there. If you can't tell, if you can't tell I'm floating around with the idea of restarting. I'm not sure if we need to, though. I'm not sure if we need to. So I do, do you take that with juice dependency of technocracy? Yeah, there are plenty of idea groups that give uh, max absolutism. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Fourteen forty four is the best play always. True, true. I get a six six five air. Fourteen forty four, not a six six six. Got to restart. Take it back to the beginning. Not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> All right, there's standing army finished at least. It's another five percent discipline. Uh, take away the infantry combat ability for now, and that for now. There we go. One more elf army's possibility. It'd be good with the restart. Remember how blessed the RNG was. True. That's the other thing. It could just not go as well. <laughs> it could just go very, 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 very badly uh, next time. Very, 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 very badly. I'll go ahead and put that there. <clears throat> it took two great conquerors to beat you, though. Would none be able to? Yes. As much as I would like to cope and say that if they didn't have the great conquerors, conquerors we would have won that war, we would not have won that war. Even if they didn't have the great conquerors. But sword cost getting great conqueror definitely solidified us not win. Like, that definitely put the final nail in the coffin, but the coffin was already made. I mean, we were already laying in it. Um, 
I don't know, because I, I do actually want to, like, complete this run. Like, I want to take all of Kanor as the kobolds. Also, Darkscale died, so 1444, obviously. But at least Omdir is dying to the orcs. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? We wouldn't restart today. We would not restart today. It's too late to restart. Um... Well, I can play around with the ideas of what we would do differently. I think we play it out. I think we go for it. Continue. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. All right, then I guess we, we keep going. If y'all want to see it keep going, then we'll keep going. We'll see how this next coalition war goes. Why'd you play red scale instead of blue scale? Because red scale is better. Red Skull's just better in every way. Better in every way. Except starting dev, but that's not as important. Fight the gnomes faster, you kill blue scale. You don't have to full annex blue scale first war. Um, kind of explained it in yesterday's stream. Uh, but red scale is just better to start as. Ooh, General died over there. That's alright. That's alright. Fight all of you. Go ahead and bring you back over here. Alright. Very good. Can you stop building a spy network on Laurent and Dave's Crown? Duran is now the real threat to me. Immediate threat. They're an expansionist. Interesting. Try to send off the aliens here. No, I have not. I have not played Resident Can before. Not yet. Not yet. All right, we're gonna leave our cannons behind. We're gonna leave one stack to go deal with rebels. Another stack's just gonna sit here and drill. Get some professionalism back and drill back and all that kind of stuff. While we recover, pour all that up. Pour that up. Well, the truth is Duran is up, right? Yep. Majority flees, okay. Gnome starter facing. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care about the, what the gnomes think of me. It doesn't matter. Alright, so our truce. Three years. We have three years left. And then we fight all those people again, except for Jaria. And Everthil. Everthil will no longer join. Apparently Corvuria is the subject of some kind. Okay. So Everthil doesn't join, but everyone else does. Everthil and Rogeria don't join. Can we beat that? This time we'll be full manpower. Our economy's having a real tough time, though. Real tough time. Uh, let's go through and get rid of edicts to save a little bit of money here. Now that we're back at max manpower, for the most part. Uh, no edict, no edict, no edict, no edict, no edict, no edict. No edict. Get rid of all you. Save me some money. Should have turned the defensive ones off immediately after the war. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Alright, so that should save us a little bit of cash there. And we're back at 15 now. <laughs> mix run win. Never. <laughs> Never again. I already did a mix run. I did my time. I'm not going back. You can't make me. You can't make me go back. I refuse. I refuse. <sighs> Goetti Separatists. Okay. Do a Tom's Rage first, and then we go Goed. Mix got mystery. Oh, yeah. Mix has a very long mystery. If you like playing as Pirate Nations, I would recommend. It's very fun. You do have to play as Knolls, though. But if you like playing Knolls, well, then I recommend. Not quite my cup of tea for the most part. Though Talacht, I did have fun with Talacht. 
did think that was quite a fun mission tree. All right, let's go ahead and get all of you to not rise up, please. Uh, cancel that. Make sure that those don't rise up. All right. Red Glader Rebels. All right, we'll take our drill stack down there. All good. Still haven't paid off our debt, but uh, hey, maybe someone else will pay off our debt for us. It's possible. And by possible, I mean, we'll have to go to war to do it, but it, that would do it. That would do it. That would do it. All right. Uh, Apple Toner Separatists. Deal with those. Then we're going to sell C's. There we go. Gives us a little bit of cash to work with here. Pay off all but two of our loans. Uh, how expensive is it to take Institution? I really feel like we need to take Institution. Go for production efficiency here. Make a little bit more money. Keep Corin. Keep Corin. Uh, we could look for like a mage guy, actually. That might be helpful. But that costs money. We don't have a lot of money around. This was a little weird at the beginning, but what are you going to do with all those moving pieces? Yeah, true. True, true, true. Go back down here. All right, spare no expenses. How's our inflation looking? It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> all right, now you can go back to drilling. And you can drill too for now. It's fine. Actually, you know what? Just stay right here. What is Urban Province? You can drill there. Go ahead and spread the printing press around. That sounds fine. Great confidence in the army, prestige, or military power. I will obviously take military power. Thank you. Appreciate it. Magisterium no longer considers me a rival. Didn't eclipse him, though. I just don't consider me a rival anymore. Oh, my soul. Magisterium, how could you do this to me? We were the greatest of rivals. And now we are nothing. Now we are nothing. So sad. So sad. <laughs> All right. Well. A couple months here. We're going to find out what we're gonna, what's going to happen. <laughs> we're going to again. <clears throat> I don't know how we're going to break this coalition. I don't know how we're going to break this coalition. There's no one we can declare on that's outside of the Empire, too. Well, that's not true. <laughs> There's always uh, Duran. Rubenair. Loren. Well, speaking of Duran... He's careful, though. <sighs> Doesn't really mean much. Doesn't really mean much when they're going to have more troops than we will. I guess we could attack into it now. <sighs> the problem is, we're getting to the point where we, we need to have a full back line of cannons. If they're going to have them, and we can't. That is a problem. We also need tech 15, because plus one land morale is kind of important. Can you dismantle the Empire and Ambedar? The problem with that is we'd have to occupy every capital of an elector, which includes the Magisterium, which is an island. So we can't really do that. can't really afford to do that. Cobalt economy strong. Well, <laughs> you say strong. They're stealing 18 ducats from me. That's kind of crazy. Oh, I hate BPEC. <laughs> BPEC's the worst, bro. They're the worst. 
They're the worst. I guess we can protect raid a little bit, but like, doesn't make a difference really. So much for being careful. Uh, okay. I mean, we could beat this war, right? Like, beating this is not the problem. It's beating the one that comes afterwards. Can I use this to avoid the one afterwards? We could get Soren Cost out. They lost their great conquer. Does the next coalition even declare, I guess? Yeah, probably. Probably. <sighs> you know what? I think we're going to call stream here today. I'm pretty tired. Um, I'm going to take a look at the save a little bit off stream. We're going to see... I'm going to see if I can find a path forward. If not, we might restart. Because now we've gotten slowed down enough to the point where we're going to get cycled by coalitions instead of cycling coalitions, if that makes sense. Please not separately stack their truce timers so you could piecemeal next time. Yeah, well, that's the preferable thing, but they're in the Empire. That's the problem. Like, that's the problem is that they're in the Empire. Um, so I'd have to fight the Emperor and all of their allies, too, which would then reveal all of their capitals, which means then they will join coalitions as well. So it's, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. I know you can make it work. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'll be live again tomorrow, um, with, with kobolds. I mean, we'll, we'll play kobolds again. It, I want to make this run work, but we'll, we'll see exactly what happens there. Um, if you don't know, I have a YouTube channel, exclamation point YouTube, and a Discord channel as well, exclamation point Discord. If you want to go ahead and join that, let's see who is online right now. Who in the world is playing some Europa Universalis 4? Uh, you're back. Well, let's see. I'm calling the stream. I'm calling the stream. <laughs> We're wrapping up early today. We're wrapping up early today. Uh, all right. Let's go back to Twitch. And let's see who is playing some Europa Universalis 4. Who, who dares play the map game? Who dare play the map game? Anybody playing some Ambinar? Mm, yeah, there's going to be a 1v1 there, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, you know what? I'll see you guys on over, over to Yeti Kings again. How about that? I read him the other day. Seemed pretty good. How did Coley's War go? We lost. We lost, we lost, we lost. All right, so I'll send you on over to Yeti Kings, uh, where he is playing some Europa Universalis 4. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'd say it's really slowly, so I'll wait on time. And I hope to see you in the next one.